Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit first. So today we're going to be starting and testing out our uh, connection to the Switch with a game that is a series of games, Collection of Mana. So I own all the original games, but honestly, I really don't want to go through the original Game Boy and stuff like that for some of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a collection of the first three Mana games. And from there, we're going to try some of the remakes. And we're going to try probably Legend of Mana on top of that. So today we'll mark the beginning of the main Mana series. There are a lot of spin-off games. There's ones that I'm not sure I consider within the main, at least up to the point I want to play. So we'll focus mostly on the earlier games. And we'll see how the chat feels about the games as we go along. Now, we're going to be playing the original version of Final Fantasy Adventure, which sounds weird because I just said we're about to play the Mana series. So for those of you not aware, way back in the very early 1990s, in order to entice people to play games that were not Final Fantasy, they put the word Final Fantasy in the title just because. So I would say the most prominent example would be the game we're about to play, Final Fantasy Adventure. Perhaps another game series we will also play in the near future, the Final Fantasy Legends series, better known as the Saga series. So today we're going to, I guess, see if everything is working okay. I should probably pause the soundtrack. There are not many songs in the soundtrack since this is, I believe it came out in 1991. Back when Square Enix was just Squaresoft. Ooh, the spooky days. <laughs> but let's go ahead and swap into things, see how things look, see how things feel. Give me one moment. I'm going to view chat a little more easily. So let me know once we get into the game how the sound sounds. And if things need to get switched around, we can touch it. Welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well. Sounds a little on the quiet end. Let me pump it a little. I mean, I know it's not a very loud song in general, but even now... To be a bit louder. Go for about here-ish. Let me know chat if that works for the soft music. So a little bit about the version of the game we're going to play specifically. Um, it does not have a lot of the quality of life features that the later versions of the game have. So if I'm not careful, I can softlock myself in this playthrough. I I hope not to. I did that growing up. It was a miserable time. So I've learned the hard way how to play some of this game. So this is not a purely blind playthrough. I did beat it once a long time ago, like at least 20 years ago. So wish me luck, I guess, on this attempt. There we go. And again, let me know, chat, if the game ever gets too loud or if it's too quiet. Interesting there is a music player button for this. Is it just for all the songs in there? Interesting. I don't think I've really explored the full package of this game before. So humor me as I test it out a little bit. So anyway, we are allowed to test to the v different versions of the game. I do not know what the differences are between these versions. But we're going to go with English US. So the reason the chat is very tall is because by default, this is about as wide as the game is going to get. So we're talking like literally, literally Game Boy. <laughs> oh, there we go. Confirmation 1991. So I'll hit some of the change displays. I believe they're supposed to be based off of some of the versions you could do with the Game Boy Color. So we can have like a true classic view and they get <laughs> just have it like at like 20% of it. 
Uh, this one, I think I played the Legend series in color. I remember this color scheme a lot. And we have this um, choice. We'll call it a choice of colors. I'd prefer not to play it in this style. So I think we're going to leave it basically on the default settings for now. We're now the tall beings, indeed. So yeah, just a little bit of the chat display, maybe later down the line. But for now, I'm happy enough where it is. So believe it or not, chat, the first thing you're going to have to do is name some characters. So I hope, I hope you have your thinking caps on. We'll let the title scroll, but you're going to be naming a male and a female character. So let's read the intro together, chat. Tree of Mana grows with the energy of will. From each and everything of this world. Chat, everything is a grizzle. You can't tell me otherwise. It grows high above the clouds in the air. On top of Mount Elusia. Tromian Coach? Yeah, we need to name these characters. Legend tells that it gives eternal power to the one who touched it. Dark Lord was trying to find the way to the Tree of Mana. Gee, chat, I wonder if he's evil. To get the mighty power to conquer the world. Classic start. I do like the little art it has on the side. That's a pretty infamous enemy, the Rabbite on the right side. But welcome, Chaosvania. So, if I recall correctly, the boy's name is Sumo, canonically, and the female's name is Fuji? Which you would only know if you looked at the manual. Because <laughs> the, the game sure as heck is not going to default that in there. I'm curious how many letters we have. Just four. Oof. Just four, chat. You have to believe. <laughs> that is that is a painful name choice. I think when I first played through the game, I literally just called the boy boy and the girl girl. I was not very creative growing up, chat. I'm just going to let you know. I was like, listen, <laughs> I didn't have the manual in front of me the first time I played. Then I think the other time I went through after I soft locked and replayed the game, I think I called my character Boyd. I just put a D at the end. I felt like I was sticking it to the game. And I called the girl lady, <laughs> if I remember correctly. 10 out of 10 names, chat. You know you're jealous. So if I do not see anything, I will literally name the boy boy. Although if I call him Boyd, it'll stand out more. Blue and Donna? Oh no. You know what? Sadly, that kind of works. I think he has more of black hair, but we can pretend it's just really dark blue. Yeah, I'm gonna go with blue. Oops, let's not do capitals there. Jeez. Uh, so we're gonna do Blue and Donna. Liquid Link was also a star of Destiny. Damn, Blue Donna's on it today. Okay, we're Blue and Donna. That that works. So anyway, as I recall correctly, the game is just like, yeah, I hope you can figure out the controls. Just fight. It's easy, chat. Just, just go win a fight, stupid. So anyway, we like to call that Meteor Res, chat. Not a very hard pattern, but I have to get used to the movement of the game. It's been so long since I de-padded. So if I recall correctly, there is a bit of a glitch with this boss, by the way. So when this boss dies, it's going to explode. Any damage I deal to it while it's exploding actually hurts the next phase and speeds up the fight significantly. There. I heard the hit sound effect. I got an extra hit. I didn't have to wait that long. I just wanted to explain that briefly. Blue was a fighter of the Empire Glaive. Or Emperor Glaive, whatever it said. Blue and friends were forced to fight every day. <laughs> Blue looked like he had never touched the sword before with the way he played on that fight. Just for the entertainment of Dark Lord. Many fighters have fallen from their wounds. Anyway, we're back at full HP. Uh-oh, Chad, our friend's not looking too good. Blue dot dot dots. Willy! 
Lou, Mana is in danger now. Oh man, if we had called her Mana, that would have made the game really confusing, I'm not gonna lie. We must let the Gemma Knights know about it. Blue also filed his taxes quarterly to say cash solvent, exactly. I got 50G. Gemma? See, Bogard. False. He is a Gemma Knight. He should know what to do. Gemma? Mana? What are they? Willy? Willy! Gotta get the drama in there. Willy passed away. Well, chat, big F in the chat for Willy. He made it a cutscene, sort of. It, they basically just call him Dark Lord. I don't think he has another name, to be honest with you. Willy, I'll avenge you, I say as I stab him. Also, by the way, the other thing I'm looking forward to, you know what, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it involves what I was doing just then. Anyway, let's go forward. So one feature of this game is you can save anywhere, and I'm gonna do that, because why not? It's got a little map, so that's kinda neat. Kinda gives me Legend of Zelda vibes, specifically in Link's Awakening. So the way the game will handle level ups is I will pick one of four stats on the right, Stamina, Power, Wisdom, or Will. The main stat I choose gets two, the sub stats associated with the one I picked get one, and the remainder gets zero. So we're gonna go big dummy, and I think I'm just gonna go power, 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 <laughs> maybe more power. Then I'll switch over to stamina. Stamina giving me HP, of course, more than normal. So anyway, the entrance for the monsters leads to outside. Take your chance. Amanda says, I'm sorry about Willy. We have to get out of here. I want to go home and see my little brother. Jab, jab. So let's talk about the interface very briefly. So HP, MP, G, mostly self-explanatory. We got 50 gold. The thing at the bottom might not be as clear. So the Mana series has what's called what would be the stamina meter. The more I let it charge up, the more damage I do. It's basically a damage multiplier. However, if it manages to cap out, I get a super attack. So eventually I would want to get things that restore it quickly. I believe that is the willpower stat in the Mana series and early on. So that way I could get my super move. The super move usually gives you iframes and is like a full screen attack. So it's usually worth getting later on. Early on, it's not worth waiting for it to charge. As you can see, it charges fairly slowly, but we're also level one. Well, anyway, time to go outside. Now fight! Oh! The game glitched my movement there, that was interesting. Rip the attack though. Anyway, not a very hard fight. I can just spam attack if I want to. I got hit by the explosions, rip me. So yeah, I gotta get used to the game's combat since it has been a while. Well, anyway, from what I recall, we go to the left here where we're about to witness the cutscene. Dark Lord and Julius, what's going on? We really do sound like Blue Donna. You say the Mana Tree is above the falls. Yes, sir. The tree is in a shrine up there. How do I get there? Up the falls. Miracles occur sometimes, Sir Dark Lord. See, they just call him Dark Lord all the time. I don't even know if he has another name. How? A girl has the key to it. Good. Work hard on it. Yes, sir. Nice little spin he's got there. What? Who is it? Dot, dot, dot. Double exclamation mark chat. So anyway, the game is going to force us to run. It's one of those nature versus nurture things, something like that. I won't let you leave here alive. 
Oh, there you go, chat. Game over. This will not be the last time that we interact with the waterfall and end up falling down a waterfall in the Mana series. Ouch. Where am I? Where is this? There we go. Where we're at is an amazing theme song area. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about the combat here. So... If I'm holding forward, I'll get a thrust. If I go neutral, I get a slash. So I could kind of do that to try to aim my attacks. If I kill every enemy on the screen, I'll demonstrate it here. The enemies will not respawn when I re come back into the room right away. So I actually don't want to do that for the most part. That's about my extent of my knowledge. But I gotta be very careful with the imps, because we're kind of low level. So if I really want to level quickly, what I should end up doing... ...is just kind of going between screens a couple times to reset them. And since we're pretty early on, I want to make sure we get certain items. So it looks like the darker of the enemies, which I'll just call goblins for lack of a better term... Uh, those give more money, so I'm gonna kill those for a little bit. When I level, I'm also gonna get healed. I'm hoping to get candies from some enemies at some point, which is a healing item. Hi, uh, this looks like a room I want to clear a few times. I believe that enemy we're fighting now is given a name. I think it's called a Mush Bloom or something like that. So pardon the, pardon the grind, because I remember this game punishes you hard for not uh, getting certain items early. So let's not let's not punish ourselves by making the game overly hard. Oh, I killed every enemy because I'm dumb. Alright, that's fine. As long as I as long as I have one room to reset, we should be good. So I now get to choose my level up stat. Mm-hmm. I wanna make sure we level power so we do more damage. As you can see, my wisdom doesn't increase. So rip that. I believe AP is. Uh, attack power, DP is defense power. So because I got a point in stamina, I get uh, one extra defense, but I get two extra power because I chose power as my main stat. I also get a little bit of extra health, which is good because I'll be needing it. So anyway, my goal is like 150-ish gold. Oops, I didn't mean to actually find this person yet. Help! Help! It's just the mushroom. Literally one-shot it. Hasim's got a serious wound. No, it sucks to be him. Anyway, back to farming. <laughs> Listen, chat, we don't have to respect the rules of this game. Listen, I need some items first. All right, so I accidentally killed everything again. I need to stop doing that. That's just a habit of playing other games. So I can force it to reset by traveling enough screens. It might be two screens away. So, I would prefer not to do that again if I could avoid it. Oh, there's the candy. I was looking for one of those. Good. This one didn't reset. So, I'm gonna grind just a little bit, chat. As I said before, it's gonna make the game much better if I do this now. So, there's an item I want to get in the first town. And that will make it so that I don't need to worry about healing for a very long amount of time in the game. So you might have noticed when I was respawning the enemies, the number of enemies in the room and their positions are semi-random. So if I want to kill a lot of enemies, I need to make sure that I get one with a lot of waves. So I should be leveling fairly soon. But I still need a lot more gold. Yeah, like this wave sucks, so I probably should have reset it. It's kind of like East in the sense where levels really matter in this game, as do items. So making sure I don't waste time getting items is kind of important. Really prefer not to use the candy I just acquired, if I can avoid it. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> so I'm going basically without any equipment right now, which is not good. So let's make sure we select power, or I'm going to be very sad. Fortunately, it's the first option. So now I have a little bit extra health, but more importantly, I'm doing almost double damage compared to before. A lot of enemies will just get straight up one shot at this point, without me getting a single weapon upgrade. Yeah, see that? That's what I want to see, chat. 
I think I still need more money, sadly. So once we're done with this, I promise you I'm going to fight way less. But I want to make sure before we leave the first town, we get a very specific item. Now, I haven't decided how badly I wanted to glitch the game. I mean, I could try doing glitches for the first time on stream ever. I'm aware of some of them. <laughs> there is specifically a very big defense bug in this game, which we could do as soon as I get 170 gold, I think. I'll go for 170. I'll go for 180 just in case. So I don't want to totally break the difficulty of the game, because I do want chat to see roughly how the game should be played. There's also a lot of, uh, I think they're called wrong warps, the techs, where you can basically skip a large majority of the game. I might try them, but I'm not going to save and continue from that point if it makes sense. I kind of just want to challenge myself to try some absolute nonsense BS strategies. I need like one more set of kills, then I think I'm good. Uh, I think I'm good enough. Anyway, let's go pay attention to the plot. Look at her moving so quick. Seems got a serious wound. Oh, please take this girl to Wendell and... Thank you, Try, for resubbing. Oops. Apparently had more than one alert on. My bad. Not sure how that happened. But welcome twice. Where did the alert come from? Weird. I wonder if one of the other sources has it? Oh, I think I see what happened. Okay. Yeah, let's see if that gets rid of it going forward. But anyway. He will take care of the rest, try. Hasim? Hasim! Man, nobody... <laughs> Tao, we've had two character deaths in... I don't know, what would you say? The first three minutes of plot? We're not doing well. I don't think the side of good is winning right now, Chan. Thank you for the lurk, Tiggy. Oh no, don't leave me alone, Hasim! I'm looking for... that Bogart, too. Why don't you come with me? Uh oh Can I? I can't leave you here alone. I am blue. Call me Donna. Okay. So her main purpose is to ask... Let me treat your wounds. Blue. So she's basically infinite healing as long as she's in your party. It's as broken as you think it is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm absolutely going to abuse that healing, for sure. All right, chat, we're going to come up to one of my favorite parts of the game. Let's make a little safety save. So see how there's these slow townspeople? You talk to them, they say, Hello, young man, welcome to Topple. Well, chat, don't you want to play a game where you could just straight up bully these people out of existence? Like, if you're tired of these dumb NPCs walking between you and your destination, you just straight up kill them with enough swings. But more importantly, you can just bully them with any weapon that you have. It's quite amazing, actually. Look at us, chat. We're the heroes now. <laughs> I think they die eventually. I think I'm just weak, or I'm not multi-hitting, one of the above. But it is really funny. You could just basically push them, bully them around. I think I could kill them with, like, the whip. Spoilers, we're getting new weapons in the future. The sword might not be able to do it now. But anyway, if I just want them out of the way, I just jab them real quick. That'll teach them. Sword is kind of big compared to the character. I would say that's normal anime size. Hello, young man. Welcome to Topple. Yeah, yeah. There's only one place I want to go. L listen, little idiot. Get out of my way. The dancing merchant is also a reoccurring thing in the Mana series. Oh, it was only 140. Oops. I misremembered. So anyway, this has a pretty big bug. <laughs> um. I don't know, Chad. Do you, let, let, let's, let's go for the bug. So I believe you do it by just... Okay. Let, let's do safety save. We're gonna do it, then I'm gonna undo it, hopefully. And if not, I'm just gonna reset it. So... There's an equipment glitch with the game, where if you put items in the second slot, specifically the iron shield... Let's take a look. 
make another save before I do the glitch. How's that? <laughs> if we then... How do we close the game normally in the Switch version? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Alright, so let's just close out, because I forget how to do it offhand, to be honest. I'm trying to think Game Boy buttons on a Switch controller, and my brain is just not processing <laughs> what buttons I need to press. I guess it would be minus plus BA or something. So now I want to go back to that second save and showcase something. I don't want to play with the glitch equipment, because it would make the game too easy. But I believe that's all I have to do is just move it to the second slot. The game doesn't really comprehend that you would ever do that because, you know, programming hard. So let's see if it glitched. Yeah. So now it gives nine defense. It's definitely not supposed to be that high. Let's see. There we go, I figured out the self reset. So now let's see what it looks like in the non-glitch version. Also, the boy went out of bounds. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you see what I mean, chat? Like, I could make this game really easy. Just want you to know. <laughs> With great restraint, I will <laughs> I will not cheat the beginning of the game. But there we go, chat. You witnessed your, your first glitched uh, adventure tactic. You want to make the game easy on yourself. 9 defense is pretty huge. Taking 9 less damage when you have only 20 health is kind of insane. It basically makes you immortal. So there's one other big thing. Keys. I'm going to need some keys. This game is kind of cruel in the sense where there are a lot of dropped items and it's fairly generous every time you play, except, except when it comes to dungeoneering, you are expected to bring keys to dungeons before you go to the dungeons. I was never a fan of it. <laughs> As you can imagine, you might ask me, what happens if you're at a place of no return and you run out of keys? Well. My response to you is, I hope you saved before you did that. <laughs> so we're going to hopefully not softlock with keys. The other thing that we can also potentially softlock on is uh, something called the Maddox, which is basically a way to break through walls. Think of it as like the bomb equivalent of Legend of Zelda. If we run out of those and I need to backtrack because I don't remember the way through the dungeons, um, it could be a softlock depending on where it happens. <laughs> So, we will be basically capping out on those every single opportunity we get a chance to. So I'm buying keys before I forget to do that. So I have to be somewhat careful because I only get one extra defense, so I'm going to make the game purposely harder for myself. However, I do have a character that basically cheats the beginning of the game, so it's not the worst thing ever. So if I ever get too injured, I could just go back and deal with it. I'll need candies later for whenever she inevitably leaves the party, because as you imagine, we're going to be getting multiple party members. So being able to heal yourself without relying on anybody is kind of nice. Ooh, that guy is kind of tanky. Well, I love that we're one-shotting them with a little bit of power. So if I'm attacking... Sp Attack spamming like this, I don't do enough damage, but if I just let it charge a little bit, we're good. So ultimately, what is our goal currently? Our goal currently is to get extra gold, because I'm not going to cheat the defense, even though I very easily could. Um, and what we're going to do is probably get the sword upgrade, maybe. Or if nothing else, I'm going to get more keys. And our goal is to look for, I believe the character's name was Bogard that was mentioned earlier, by the falls. Good, I got to level up. So my level up is as good as buying an armor upgrade at the moment, so really want to make sure we keep getting these. Stamina will give me extra defense, so we're going to be taking advantage of that. I just want to make sure all these early enemies I can one-shot, just because it makes the game way easier if I do that. So because I don't plan on backtracking for the moment, I'm just going to kill everything we come across. Also, I love slapping treasure chests out of existence. 
Why did he lunge at me? That was weird. I do not recall offhand if there's a way to speed up the text. There's no option for it, but maybe there's some button combo that will speed it up. Oh yeah, you can slap anything. You could kill, like, NPCs, all sorts of nonsense. Okay, I gotta remember the difference between jab and slash to make sure I'm not holding a direction. Dr. Pillow says, looks like a fun game, never seen it. It's a lot of fun. If you like games that are kind of Zelda-esque, uh, this will probably be up your alley. This is the Reaper's power. Welcome, I see Boldy's being shown. I looked at Boldy briefly to see which one it was. So I believe our destination is over here somewhere. It might be to the left. Sorry, Rabbite, which I'm pretty sure is your name. So we have only a basic weapon. Yeah, this does not look like the right way, but I'm still gonna go this way. Because why not? We need to get XP. Especially if I'm not cheating the game. Okay. So here's the first time that you come across something you can't really deal with. So we will need a lot of the Maddox items in order to potentially get through this. I believe they give you a weapon to kind of replace that later on. Yeah, so if you like Zelda games, I definitely recommend checking it out, but just be wary. There are a couple of annoying sections of the game. They're not like the end of the world, but yeah. Definitely shoutouts to anybody that's played the game before I got stuck at the Oasis. Kid Me did not understand what I needed to do to progress, and that was before I had internet, so that took me a while to figure out. Oh, these just drop candy? That's not fun. So, fun fact, actually, let me talk about one more thing. So, one other reason to potentially clog your inventory with items, because you do have a limited amount of space, is some enemies do drop equipment pieces, in particular, as you get through most of the game, a lot of the later enemies will give something. So, if you cap out your inventory, you can't pick up the items that get, would give healing, but if you touch ones that are normally equipment, then you could determine which ones are actually useful to you. Uh, so I believe this is where we need to go, because this should be bogered at the fall. Excuse me. I'm looking for a man named Bogard. Oh, he, did he just ignore me? I don't know anything. Go away. Dot dot da dot dot. That is dependent of mana. My mother gave me this. Are you... are you the Gemma Knight? Yes. It was when Vandal was trying to... conquer the world with the power of mana. We fought against them to retrieve the peace. Retrieve the peace? That's quite a line. But we were losing. The power of mana was too strong. But there was a lady who assured us our victory. That lady had that pendant on her chest. Seems like this girl is the key for this time. Take the mattock in the next room. Go to the cave on the east side of the mountains. Use mattock to break the rocks in the cave. See Siba in the town called Wendell. He knows more. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So anyway. So you might be thinking, okay, you know, we're going to the cave that we were just at, right? That would be the next logical thing to do. Well, you would be wrong. <laughs> We're not doing that, chat. We're going back to the starting town. Listen, chat. I played enough of this game to know that when the game wants you to go somewhere, you super do not want to go there right away. You better take your time. So the reason I want to go back is that Maddock is a limited use item, which you'll find if you go into the inventory screen. So in order to make up for the fact that we're going to be using a potentially bajillion in this run, we now have acquired about 133 gold, so I'd like to spend basically all that money on Maddox. And maybe we'll get a level up on the way there, who knows. Because we are just straight up one-shotting at this point. Which is a good sign, because sometimes you just want to get money as you go through quickly. So I think later on in the game, after we get a few levels of stamina, we'll probably level Willpower, just because Willpower is extremely strong. 
There are some items that can be dropped from enemies called Crystal, which will instantly max out the will gauge. So we will not usually see me do the full willpower attack until much later in the game, or if I pick up a lot of those items. They do make boss fights very easy with max willpower. I forget if you could sell candies or not, you might be able to. Also, for those curious, your shield does deflect things, but the type of shield you have determines what projectiles you could deflect. So higher level shields don't actually give you defense, they just let you reflect more. Also, only suckers use the inn, we're just gonna ask her to treat us. No, 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 out of my face. Listen, I will obliterate you. <laughs> this is her wasting my time. Look, look at us go, chat. We're just straight up NPC abuse. Yeah, you better stay up there, little boy. I'll delete you. Uh, I could sell some of the candies. They don't sell for very much, though. I will sell the bronze helmet, though, because that's just eating space. Uh, oh, look, chat. The Madoc is here. It's almost like I played the game once before. Also, menuing, please. Hello? Do you not like it when I mash D-pad? I'll get one more set of keys. I'm gonna buy two more Maddox. There are enemies that can drop these, but... Do you really want to be grinding random enemies for those drops? I don't think so. Welcome, Kirk. Yeah, you better run from me, little boy. I will straight up kill you. <laughs> this is very retro looking. It is very 1991. There we go. Actually, I don't think it went in this house. It's not relevant to the plot, from what I recall, but we'll just talk to them. Dark Lord is looking for a girl, I heard. Do you know a girl with the secret of the Tree of Mana? Nah, we wouldn't know anything about that. The old man by the waterfalls is such a weirdo. He used to be a gallant knight, but not anymore. Yeah, chat, what a weirdo. Let's look at our inventory so far. Yeah, that looks about right. So I think we got one free space, the rest is all candies. We'll need the candy soon. Uh, I don't think we went in this house before, so let's just talk to them for lore reasons. Tree of Mana is watching us from above the clouds. It's protecting us from evil things. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we're, we're walking around like we just got some crazy pickups in Halloween. <laughs> See, there we go. I'm bullying the NPCs again, Chad. I can't help myself. Um, is there anywhere else I wanted to check out before we went up there? Just trying to recall. Yeah, like you can see we're very strong right now. Ah, uh, these things. Jellyfish. Those plants, I really should know what those are called. Those are in many of the mana games. Not all these enemies show up again. In fact, there's quite a few Final Fantasy cameos that never obviously don't show up again. Kill some of those just because. Nice level up. Again, our first several levels are just going to be power, where we get a little bit of willpower, but more importantly, we just one-shot everything. Because being able to just two-shot things versus three-shot or four-shot is pretty huge. So I can see where we have to go eventually. For my sake of knowledge, I'm gonna go over here briefly. Oh, never mind. That'll just wrap around. Okay, never mind. So we'll have to go through the cave in order to deal with that. That's fine. But anyway, I got an extra defense point because I leveled. And I want to be killing basically constantly. <laughs> I basically need pure bloodlust as I play. Oh, we're one-shotting the imps? That's actually huge. Yeah, that is actually huge. Imps went from doing five damage to us to one. So yeah, we definitely leveled correctly. Ah, so we're gonna ask her to heal us, because I don't feel like using candies yet. Ah, so here's what we need to do. So we gotta go into our inventory. We have one of our many Maddox. I'm gonna equip it. I gotta remember how to use it. Okay, it's just the normal button. I think I could leave it on for now, then. Found more candy. 
So there are hidden passageways. I do not remember where most of them are. So it's definitely a game that's kind of fun exploring for the first time, because you never know what to find. So things like those urns are also breakable by the Madoc, but I don't have a reason to break them yet, so I'm not going to. Yeah, so now that we're one-shotting, we're reducing a whole bunch of damage that will potentially come towards us. And that's why I think leveling anything other than power in the beginning is foolish. You really just need to be able to one-shot these enemies. I got the thrust instead of the slash. Right, let's check what's in here. A merchant. Are you here in case I didn't get the Madoc? Won an only battle for only 150 gold. Won it? Um... Oh yeah, so he's selling a unique weapon. I might as well just go for it. Let's get rid of some of our candies. Just some of them, though. Honestly, I think we're about to get a very good weapon in just a little bit. Okay, so that, that's the Pity Merchant, in case you didn't get it. Swampy Head, be careful. Uh, so we're halfway to purchasing another weapon. There's a very good weapon coming up in, like, the next half hour or so that I prefer over, I think, the Battle Axe. Oh, I got poisoned. Please cure me. So you can imagine, once she leaves the party, you're kind of in big trouble. You'll also notice that I can't interact with these plants, only some weapons can destroy them. So I know we'll be getting at least one weapon by default without paying anything for it. Found Pure, which I think cures poison. That'll be useful later, I don't need it right now. I'm gonna dis- I'm gonna disagree with that hitbox. <laughs> Biggest enemies of the Dark Lords, it's diabetes. It is true. So some enemies can only be damaged by magic. So we have an MP meter, but we don't know literally any spells yet. Did she out of bounds? Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. stop out of boundsing. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at her go. Yeah, I wish I could clip through the rocks like that. What a show off. She's cheating, chat. <laughs> what a cheater. Anyway, I have no reason to not spam this. So the goal is eventually to go to the bottom left, because that is where the plot wants us to go. I do not want to go there yet. Ah. Uh, oh, I'm finally at full willpower, so if we fight something that is not these annoying little swamp ghouls, let's show off something. Uh, let's go... I really wish they were lined up a little better. Let's do this. So that's what happens when you're at max willpower. You're invincible that entire dash, and it does insane damage because you're at max willpower. So if you're wondering why I'm interested in willpower, imagine being able to do that whenever you want. That makes you invincible. Did you just... Okay, so we can't get a plot item early, so no sequence breaking there. We don't have what we need to cut through this yet. I only need a little bit more gold to try the other weapon, but to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to use this weapon very much over the other choices. I could go back and purchase it for the sake of showing it off, though. I almost have 150. And who knows, I might level. One enemy on the screen, seriously. <laughs> Sucks. It's not going to be enough money, then. Unless... We got max spawn. Oh, look at that. What a perfect amount, chat. 10 out of 10. Right, I'll buy it for you, chat. I wasn't going to, but I think to show off features of the game, we might as well do it. Great. Okay. So we don't care about his items already. I already have all I need. So let's go ahead and change from sword to axe. I don't know if the glitch occurs for weapons or just armor. So just four more damage. For those that played a little bit of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, that axe animation should look a little familiar. But yeah, it's just four extra damage, which is pretty huge. And... Unfortunately, it still cannot cut down those plants. However, it does have a lingering animation in front of me, which is kind of nice. Other pure... whatever. 
Yeah, see how I was able to hit the corner there? I don't think the sword normally can do that. So we'll take that. Well, she's just glitching out as she tries to reach us. Perfect, that's what I was waiting for. So we are basically liter literally and figuratively power leveling. <laughs> Nothing but power, chat. So we're getting slightly tankier. Our damage is going through the roof. We're getting a little bit more health. So we're not quite glass cannoning because we are actually at least getting defense. But more importantly, we could just slap everything from existence. So jellyfish still take at least two swings. That's a little too much for us still. Jellyfish bad matchup. Flower is free though. Yeah, see how that jellyfish didn't die? That's what I'm talking about. We need we need to avoid them. And that's what our extra defense is for. So anyway, chat, let's go to the totally not evil dungeon layer. I mean, we're gonna go to the Lord of the Manor's house. Welcome to Kent's. Rooms ahead are occupied. Please, feel free to use the western room. You can't get past this door. It's for Mr. Lee. Mystic Mirror reveals people's true colors. I heard that the man here threw it away in a cave. Gee, that won't be plot relevant. Let's talk to the white mage over here. Lizardman's nest is to the south. They have the key to open the cave of Marsh. Well, thank you, very specific NPCs. Well, Chan, I, I think you can figure out what we need for later. But uh, let's just let's just have a nap in this totally not evil layer. Also, let's see what the axe's super attack is. Oh, we throw the axe. Interesting. Oh no, I don't think I like that attack as much as the others. But anyway, let, let's get some sleep because you know, gotta assert dominance on the bed. There we go. Blue, what? I think. You should be able to use cure magic. Yeah, it should help. Read this. Receive the magic book of cure. Learned cure. Good night. Good night. Now, the tricky thing is I don't want to overlevel because overleveling means I don't restore my health mid dungeon. Ah, new victim. Oh, we did well, chat. We lost the girl already. Good mo- Donna's missing! Well, let's see what happens when we talk to him now. Welcome to Cats. Rooms that are occupied. Please feel free to use the western room. Eh, you can't get past the doors for Mr. Lee. Your friend? No. I do not know her. Hmm. Well. Time to do with the game once. Oh, I can't carry? I'm out of item space? Nice. Too many pures, chat. Oh, I one-shot that jellyfish. Okay, so if we let power... If we power up a little bit, I can one-shot the jellyfish. This is important knowledge. So in the meantime, let's go on a killing spree. And let's reset the annoying ghoul thing. No. Whatever. <laughs> right, chat, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. Oh, hey, lizard men that weren't here before. Chat, sure would be a shame if I had a very powerful weapon that just cheesed the fight. Sure would be an absolute shame. And carry. Get out of here. Uh, so why don't we... It says I have an item space free. I wonder why it's being finicky with me. Hmm. Well, time to check some candies, I guess. I did sell a couple in my defense. Found the bronze. Found a cure. Uh, I, cure is a little better than candy, to be fair. So that was that was fine to lose. Well, anyway, as they said before, the Lizardmen have the key to Marsh. So let's just go ahead and equip the said key. Let's talk to you. Your friend is missing. 
Many girls have disappeared in that place. They must be kept in the caskets at the basement. What, what do you mean the caskets at the basement? <laughs> um... Looking for the mirror. Do you want me to help? Sure. Anyway, we now have a new party member. Let's talk to him. Some walls may be broken with Star or Maddox. Yeah, I wish I had the Morning Star for sure. Those walls sound different when you hit them. Well, that's a good hint because we're going to need that for later. Okay, chat. Our power is out of control. So there's a little warp. Let's see, do we need to go here? Oh, never mind. It's a switch. Hmm. So he just shoots fireballs as a support, so that's fine. We don't have any heal magic, but he's got kill magic. So I'm kind of okay with this. So as you imagine, we're looking for the magic mirror. Mm-hmm. There's a very suspicious set of rocks in front of us. I wonder if that means anything, chat. So at least the game has the decency of giving you a sound effect whenever you could destroy something. The downside though, Chad, is that sometimes when you destroy stuff, like if you leave the dungeon, the game doesn't remember you did this. So it could be way more annoying than it sounds. Oh, I think we're about to get the weapon that I'm looking for. We found the sickle. The game kind of teaching you how to use it here. So it actually is one more power than the battle axe. So more importantly, chat, goodbye annoying plants. Also, look at that 360 goodness. As you can imagine, this is very abusable. The get off me button is real. <laughs> so already we have uh, one of my favorite weapons in the game. Is that my alarm? Oh, the bong bong when I was in the wall. Sounds like it. I mean, just look at the power chat. It's fast. It murders everything. Oh, he... What a, what a rude jerk being right on the path that I needed to walk. Anyway, let's level power. <laughs> Need more willpower. Let's use... Let's see. Cure to cure ourselves. Stop that. Annoying enemies teleporting where I can't see them. Anyway, we'll use a candy soon. In fact, let me just... Actually, let's keep this equipped in case I get poisoned again. So the fact that it could potentially double hit is kind of insane. Also, I love we're at 250 gold, by the way. Do you like that I was, like, penny-pinching earlier? Now it just doesn't matter. Oh, so that enemy is an example of an annoying enemy. So we need him to kill that. Alright, so we could go that way. Can't go this way. I... Red mage, come on. Come on, Final Fantasy graphic mage. There we go. Alright, so there's only one path. So let's proceed then. So we got five more uses of Maddock, and then we free up an item space. So there's an example of a door I don't know if we could get through normally. Yeah, see, that's locked. If we didn't bring keys from earlier, we wouldn't be able to proceed. However, I'm curious what's in the next room, so we'll proceed for now. This job. I'm, I'm hitting the get off me button. Get off me. I will generally not skip too much combat since levels, as I said before, make a big difference. So it looks like it was just a shortcut to come to this room, potentially. Interesting. Ooh, he's going on a killing spree. Love to see it. Can't carry. Okay, let's have a piece of candy. Let's see what the item was. Got another Maddox? Ooh, that's kind of nice. So what we can end up doing is we could junk the one that's four, so we don't need it right now. Let's go ahead and use some of our keys. I got... F no, I got eight keys. Oh, this was just a level up room. Found an iron shield, okay. 
So if I had mem remembered to bring a key here... I got another piece of equipment. I wonder if the other one also gives equipment then. Also, our gold total right now, chat, actually insane. Let's go back and check it then. I got, a, I got spare keys. I was thinking they were going to link up, but then they didn't. So what happens if we had brought a key here? These slimes are so annoying. Ah, a puzzle. So we can also move treasure chests to act as weights. Again, the game is actually fairly interesting just kind of walking around. What's the point of this room? Okay, so this is a healing spring, but it also is plot down here. Interesting. Or not, the game baited me. Thanks, game. Uh, I don't think I need the bronze key anymore. I'm just gonna chuck it. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a safety save here. In case I mess something up. I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Worst thing that happens is I go back to the other save. So that was just for a healing area. Okay. Disappointing. We'll just damage boost through there, don't mind me. Found another mana. Okay. So it seems the game is at least being generous with our drop rate right now. I don't usually get this lucky when I play. Uh, let me just swap which mana I'm using. So I can use the mana to skip... To skip through those boulders, was what I was about to say. Actually, if I grab the pure here, that'll free up an item slot. We have uh, the ability to cure ourselves to some extent, which is kind of nice. Apparently, I'm getting all the luck in the world. I swear when I play this when I, <laughs> off stream, I get literally zero Maddox. Um, I'll get rid of the one that says five for now. All right, so logic would dictate there's a suspicious boulder in the corner. Let's go smash it. There we go. Not quite how sure to leveling I am. Is there a way to see that? I know when we level, we could see till next level. I don't want to use magic yet. Is it in the item menu? No. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, that's how close we were. Okay. That answers my question then. I felt like we were close. Which is good, because I wanted to get healing right before potentially an annoying fight. So we're now very tanky, we're very powerful. You can see how fast our will gauge is leveling. Look at it go at the bottom chat compared to the beginning of the game already. Out of control. So yeah, eventually we're just gonna get to the point where we could just constantly spam our full screen attacks. Ooh, what an annoying route to get through this room. I really need him to deal with some of this. I can't damage them with uh, melee weapons. Or, you know, that's fine. I'll just damage tank. No, it would have been nice if he uh, targeted literally any of them. Oh, oh, it's locked. Nice. So just imagine, Chad, if you ran out of keys. Would have been GG for you there. Can you? I was going to say, could you please kill a couple of these? Alright, so I think what I need to do here is go back to the Maddock, which we have limited use of. Delete that. Now that I touch both, we open up another passageway. Feel like I'm getting suspiciously close to a boss. Question, can I save mid-boss battle? Oh, when I save, I can see my experience. 
Well, champ, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Boss time. Ooh, if we make contact damage, that does a lot of damage to us. Note to self. So we can deal with the fireballs by just facing them. So I'm not scared of the fireballs, I'm scared of the contact damage. Uh, let me just use regular cure here. I think our goal will be to mostly face tank, to be honest with you, though. We need him to do the big dive. Uh, that was that was pretty clean. So that's what you're supposed to do to not take damage, but I would just like to do as much damage as possible. As you can see, that really messes up the boss. Thank you, extended range. Okay. Don't let it charge up a little bit. Oh, he baited me. Good bait, good bait. Nice. Pretty clean boss fight. Found the magic book of fire. Learned fire. Get on my face. Found the mirror. Show it to the guy at Kets. He'll scream and show his true colors. Bye. Yo, he just peaced out. Yo, he had enough, chat. He's like, you don't pay me for this. I'm out of here. Ooh, should I do... You know what? Let, let, should I just go for another glitch, Chad? I think I should. How do I do the glitch? Let me think. We're, we're not going to save with the glitch, but I'm going to save before the glitch. How's that, Chad? Let's see. How hard is it to wrong warp in this game? Let's find out together, chat. Let's take this as a learning session. Use instant transmission, pretty much. So... From my very rough understanding of the game, it really, really does not like if you end up in an object when you cross through screens. So if you do something like this... How do I do it? No, I'm not doing it correctly. There's like a little bit of a trick to it. Do I have to like attack into the screen? Huh. Never mind. It's not as easy to do as I thought. There's a there's some trick to it. It definitely oh there we go. And there you go, chat. I have technically warped towards the end of the game. <laughs> I am not anywhere hilariously near where I'm supposed to be. I am not anywhere <laughs> anywhere I'm supposed to be. So anyway, let's just let's just die. So that, that wasn't too bad. I, I don't understand the setup. I just recall that you could do that. So we're, we're just going to have a happy little reset and pretend I never came here. How's that, chat? Is that fair? It's proof that I know how to do it, sort of. <laughs> so anyway, just for, try to remember later in the game how long it's going to take to it for us to get to that point. I probably need to get rid of some items, actually. I got over Maddocked. Fortunately, we'll get rid of a key on the way through here. And we'll get rid of the mirror very soon. I wonder if I'm allowed to re-rest here. That would actually be hilarious to get my MP back. Just sleep in the Evil Guy's dungeon. Oh, you can just sleep in the Evil Guy's dungeon again. Wow, that is so disrespectful of us. So anyway, just don't, don't, don't mind me, chat. Just showing some casual uh, game-breaking glitches. All right, so we got to equip the mirror. So Chad, I have a question for you. When you when you saw what was going on and you heard there were caskets in the basement and we're told to bring a mirror that reveals the truth, what do you think this guy is going to turn into? I'll let you think for a moment. See, vampire would have been the would have been my choice as well. But watch what happens when we use it. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to him from this side. I think I'm gonna take damage now. That that mirror. Anyway, he's a werewolf. So anyway, <laughs> just. 
<laughs> of course. Of course, of course. Sorry, weird goofy owl. You need to perish in the name of progress. I know, chat. That got me when I was growing up, too. Also, I technically have magic to kill these things. I really prefer not to use my magic for damage when we play through this game. Uh, that's an annoyingly high amount of damage I just took. Let's go ahead and use the candy. So zombies are also not our friends. We need to, like, bait them to get out of the way. I'm gonna kill as many owls and pumpkin heads as I can. When he listen for secrets. Yeah, nothing of interest. <laughs> but of course, exactly. Okay. Let's see, there's a very suspicious path to the right. Do we take the very suspicious path to the right? Should we see what's over here first? Uh, it's a door. I really wish the zombies were not in that for me. Oh, this is a much easier room. Pfft, whatever, we're resetting the room more often. Uh, so all this is just to kill everything in this room, which is not worth it to me. I think we're going to ignore whatever treasure's in here. Yeah, the super version of the sickle, in case you missed it earlier, is just a sickle with more reach. I think the sword is just much better because it goes full screen. That's what we call an ultra convenient level up. <laughs> I wasn't intending to level, but you know, that's fine. So we're fairly tanky, our damage is insane, our HP is okay. That mouse got obliterated. Welcome, Yantos. Werewolves have an adverse reaction to silver. Yantos with the werewolf facts. Let's get through here. That mouse is so rude. Made me take damage. What a rude mouse. Anyway, we're going to be going on a one-shot spree. As I said before, it's all about power, baby. <laughs> oh, wait, listen. I think when I grew up, I tried a lot of stamina, and I was like, man, I wasted my time. Um, Can I get a more favorable zombie pattern? Uh, if you would... No. Really? You're going to walk towards me? Yeah, that's I can live with this one. Just don't walk upwards here. What a jerk. The jukes, chat. The jukes. So this is before. I want to constantly be killing things for money and levels. We still have three emergency heals. Cure costs two. Let's proceed for now. Hmm. There's staircase upwards, but also sus suspicious switch. What happens if I touch this? Downward stairs. Hmm. This seems like progress. Look how powerful we are, chat. I'm just walking around, just swinging my sickle, murdering everything near me, as usual. I think I hit the treasure chest by accident there. Locked. Well, I got keys. <gasps> are we getting the whip? Are we going full Belmont? Yeah, we're going full Belmont. Let's go, chat. And it's got one more damage than sickle. Actually unfair. Look at that range. I lose the AoE, but man oh man. We... Alright, so now we have a new means of transporting on the overworld. More importantly, we just straight up bully enemies full screen. Also, I love that I'm at a thousand gold, by the way, chat. Effortless, effortless gold. <laughs> Now with this new weapon, I think we could proceed. Also, look at that will gauge at the bottom. Ooh. That's already going up a hilariously high amount. Oh look, we'll have Super Whip to test it out. Well, if anything really wants to mess with me, it's gonna die very quickly. Imagine this just full screen whip. It's like slightly longer than normal range whip. Eh. Not the most exciting super weapon, but hey, damage is damage. 
Although, to be honest, I still did use the sickle a lot because the 360 was just nonsense. We do have a lot of G. <laughs> Mouse is just exploding. Come on, what is this? Alright, we're resetting the room. I'm not dealing with this. Yeah. Some enemy patterns, chat, as I said before. Just... Just give up. Actually... Oh. Well, that's annoying. I didn't mean to fall there. Okay, we got crystal, which is nice. Uh... I took, like, one step too far. I don't know where I am anymore, though, sadly. Oh, we're just up here. Oh. Well, we'll go to the other area later. What was over here? Game, please, with the zombie positions. Thank you. <laughs> please and thank you. Move them out of my way. As you can see, dungeons in this game can get kind of huge. Found another key. Guess I should use fire magic here. Just to kill this thing. Oh, and that didn't reveal anything? That kind of sucks then. Well, that's one less cure that we have. Fire only costing one is kind of funny to me. What was the point of this room? Well, chat, let's find out if this was just a waste of Maddox or not. Okay, there's stairs downwards. Anything over here? No. Also, chat, imagine if you ran out of Maddox at any point in these dungeons and understand my paranoia when I play this game. Okay, this is promising. I think I found my way to the person that I'm looking for. Do you see how many keys we gotta use, chat? Good thing we picked up another random key. That would have been really horrible. Ooh, chat, let's test my memory. Which coffin do you think the girl is in? I think I know which one it is. I'm gonna go straight for it, chat, in a moment, but I'll let you think. Which, which coffin of these would you have picked? If one to three is the top, then it's four to... I guess 8 in the middle, 9 to 12 or whatever at the bottom. Second from bottom right, second from the left. Ooh. Chat's thinking it's the bottom row. Well, chat, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep, there we go. Donna. Oh, blue. Let's get out of here. Well, anyway, chat, you know what the important thing is, though? We now have infinite healing again. Look at that HP. Look at it climb chat. <laughs> so we still have more to explore if we want to get more items or whatever. Or, you know, delete the mouse from existence. Oh, now that was an assertive level up. <laughs> that poor mouse. <laughs> I just straight up deleted him again. Yeah, more power, please. So again, I got slightly more defense. HP went up a little bit, attack power through the roof. Our wisdom is still at two. It might stay there for a while, to be honest with you. I think if we level up uh, willpower, we'll get a little bit of uh, wisdom, which is MP, as well as uh, stamina. So we'll get defense, faster charge gauge, and everything else. But you can see my willpower meter is kind of out of control. All right, so we have infinite healing. Where do we go? Are there any other places I didn't explore? It's very easy to miss items. I'm sure I've missed hidden rooms already a couple times. Oh, I found a cure. That's convenient. I'll need that for later. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was just straight up an assassination. So I can push them with my shield if Chad is curious out of the way. Like, that is a strategy you could do. I just prefer not to do it if I don't need to. So, curiosity. So that should go back. Where did that other pathway go that we were at earlier? Yeah, where did this one go? What was down here? Hmm. 
I don't think we did anything over here. I was gonna say, Pumpkin does not want to mess with me. Is that it? It just goes back in a big circle? Well, that's kind of lame. You poisoned me. That's very rude. How about you heal me? Well, we got another cure, which is better than candy. Stackable healing better than single heal, for sure. So that was it. It just goes in a big circle. There might have been a hidden door there somewhere, but I don't think it super matters. We got the important thing, which is the whip. Everything else is irrelevant. We could find better later in the game. So unfortunately, Chat might have noticed a flaw with the game. Did Chat figure out what the issue with the, big, the game is? Let's use one of our candies. Found pillow. Pillow is nice. There is no equivalency in the later games of the escape rope. So you have to remember how to escape some of these dungeons, by the way. So good good luck with some of the later dungeons. So yeah, we're on our way out. If chat is wondering, no, I did not miss the boss. <clears throat> there is the boss, but it's not here. Whip. So much money. So Pillow is an interesting usable item. Uh, it basically lets you put everything near you to sleep. I actually want to save Crystal for later in the game, but I'm probably not going to be able to hold it for very long. Um, I might just get rid of another candy here, I'm thinking. Actually, Maddox would just... Oh, you can't stack the Maddox together. Let me get rid of Maddox of one since I'd rather have Pillow or anything else. Sleep is extremely overpowered in this game. It will stop movement of all enemies, and it works even if they're, like, ridiculously higher level than you. Which can lead to some very silly one-shots of enemies, because they just don't fight back. If I was glitching to go to the later half of the game, I would probably be abusing the sleep spell, so that way I could actually kill. Because you imagine everything that touches me would kill me instantly. But if I had the sleep spell, I could bully my way, level up. Power level is needed. We're so powerful right now, chat. <laughs> it feels good when you level correctly. Get out of here. Yeah, we basically just want to level... We want to make sure every level we get always levels willpower. There we go. There's the level up I'm looking for. And we'll get willpower by just constantly raising power itself. Eventually, power will mean less because two damage will mean less when we're at like 150 or so. But this early in the game, going from like 8 to 30 power is broken. Hmm... Did you seriously poison me while I whipped you? That is so rude. Now I'm trying to remember how to escape. No. You might have also noticed the wall I came through closed behind itself. That's also what makes the game a bit harder than normal. I remember coming in this room before. Do I really have to go down those stairs? I didn't think I had to, but maybe I do. Can't carry. It could be a cure magic. Uh... Let me just demonstrate Pillow. So OP. Nice, I got a cure. Yeah, I'm, I think I... Maybe I went up the steps to go sideways. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. Yeah, our power leap is insane. I mean, look at the willpower filling up already. Like, reasonably, if I'm not constantly killing everything every screen, I can build up a super attack. Oh, can't carry, chat. Hmm. Maybe it's worth picking that up. We have so many cures now. A couple of cures, a few keys. Oh, 
Well, we have a regular candy in here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, we got another key. Nice. The game is very generous to us today, chat. As I said before, my item luck is normally atrocious. I think that could be crystal. I kind of want that, to be honest with you. Can I just burn this for crystal? Yeah, crystal's absolutely worth it. Here we go, chat. That's my victim. You might have noticed, Whip kind of destroys this boss. He literally didn't even hit me. That's so sad. Um, if his bats did come near me, if I do hit them, they don't damage me. So, yeah, he got absolutely god stomp chat. Received the magic book of sleep. Learn slip. There you go, chat. Learn your slip spell. Are you all right, Donna? Yeah. Wendell is to the south. Let's hurry. He got whipped, indeed he did. Nice one, chat. But yeah, he got absolutely dumpstered. Look, we still have sellables. Get rid of these later. Oh. Look at that leap in power already, chat. Mm. The walking god is here. <laughs> like, like, bow before me, foolish mortals. The, po the pure power playthrough is happening right now. Like, imagine if you had been leveling stamina and you would have been, like, at half my attack power right now. How much slower the game would be. Where well, there's the bronze key if I ever need it again. I don't need it again, though. Oh, that was rude. That enemy was literally right where I was walking. Rude. Yeah, yeah, just heal me. Uh, actually. <laughs> Hold on, chat. I'm hitting the get off me button. I wish this game had, like, a quick swap between the different weapons, because I do like the different weapons. I just don't like swapping them often due to the fact that I have to menu. But it is nice going around the overworld. You have to think a little bit. And I cannot wait to get rid of Maddox from my inventory. Oh no, Pig Soldier. I murdered awfully, awfully fast. Let's see. Um, what do I want to get rid of to try what they have? I guess I'll get rid of Pillow again, because I don't really care. Oh, he just had regular candy? That was not worth it. Oh, Killer Bees. I'll deal with those. <laughs> Over 2,000 in cash, jeez. Sorry, pigmen. Only one pig allowed on this stream. Welcome to Wendell, the sacred town. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking. Hold on. You're going to get in my way? Are you immune to the whip? What a god. What an actual god, chat. So, I could spend 10 GP like a sucker. I don't want to, though. Again, inns are mostly irrelevant in this game because you have a character that full heals you. So if you never use magic, then it re there really is no purpose to the inn. Dwarf Cave is to the west. Okay, thank you, plot relevant child. Uh, what do you have for store slash and sale here? Some more keys and Maddox. Uh, why don't you take a candy? Because it's better than just dropping it in general. Uh, I'll get rid of a Maddox 5. I still have two sets of Maddox. I have two sets of keys. So that's probably good. I don't think I need 14 uses of Maddox yet. And we seem to be picking up a lot as we play. So as long as we don't go in with just one, we should be fine. On average, I think we use somewhere between like three and eight a dungeon. Depends on if we backtrack or not. Siba is a sage. He used to be a great warrior. Oh yeah? Did he protect you from random, <laughs> random assault? I think not. <laughs> right, chat? Got him. 
<laughs> Look at him glitching out. Yeah, take that small child. Anyway, back to the weapon store. Oh, he's so lucky. I was gonna whip him again. Uh, I could buy iron armor. Disconnected, that's unfortunate. Well, I might as well just equip it for now. Five extra defense is kind of nice. Oh, can you not sell armor at the equipment store? Weird. So we'll give uh, the internet a second or so. I really hope to not have to force it to go through. Oh, it's going to be one of those nights. So we're going to put it briefly on pause since we have an uncooperative internet. Hopefully through the magic of editing, we will continue the playthrough. Okay, looks like we are back now. Yeah, I think what takes me out of the gameplay for sure is whenever OBS decides to disconnect. So let's go back into the game. We'll recap what I found before I noticed there were issues. So I went to the store. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I swapped out my bronze armor for iron armor. And that gave me five defense, so I went from 17 to 22, which is a pretty big damage difference. So taking five less damage a hit is already kind of insane with where we are in the game. Also, weirdly, when I went to go sell items, I realized I can't sell equipment. Oh, no, no, I can. It's just really far down. Never mind. Well, I don't need the bronze armor, and I don't need the bronze shield, so let's just get rid of these. 
Never mind. It showed me the item menu at first. That's what had me confused. Let's see what these people have to say. Siva's in here. <laughs> I bully them. Waterfalls make all of our rivers flow. The water springs from the root of the tree of mana. Mana is supporting our nature. No, no, no. Oh, you talk to me again, you jerk. Did not want to talk to you. You literally walked down just to block me. You're gonna get sickled for that. I just want you to know. Yeah, out of my face. Stupid people trying to be helpful. Should know their place, chat. I hear that the tree of mana is very beautiful. Slapped him in his own home, of course. Hello again. How have you been? Oh, he's he's immune to the slaps. The man is too powerful. Oh, the boy is also immune for some reason. Oh well, let's let's continue with the plot, I guess. Welcome, Diz. Hope you're doing well. I am Siba. Bogar told me about you. Oh, yes. It sure is the symbol of mana. Step forward. You'll see what you must see. There you go. Just step on the giant symbol. <laughs> We're like mimicking how slow the old man is walking. Oh, no. Not the flashes, chat. Donna, my dear. Mom! Mom? That lady. She's the one who encouraged us. I must tell you now, Donna. You and I are members of the Mana family. We are the seeds of the Mana tree. We must guard it. Vandal abused the power of Mana long time ago. So I seal the waterfalls with that pendant. So that nobody can come close to the mana tree. Well, Chad, I think we all know where this is about to go. But again, Glaive is trying to use it for evil. Darn that Glaive, Chad. Guard the mana tree with the Genma Knights. Mother's figure disappeared. Dot, 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 dot. Mom. Leave is attacking us. What? I'll take you to a safe place. Thank you. Oh, goodbye, perma healing. Where did he take her? I'll check. He, he attacked me from behind. Well, good thing we got everything we needed. Oh, actually, the merchant's jamming out to the battle tomb. That's fair. <laughs> All the other people in the streets, they're dead, though. I'll take the one damage loss for 360 control. I'm just seeing what enemies spawn over here. I don't normally go this way. Actually, hold on. Is the old man safe in his house? You were safe. Anyway, sorry for the flashes. We'll get through them now. I just like the sickle too much, Chad. The 360 is just so good. Donna! Huh? Oh no, chat! Julius! Why? You helped me once before. I was not sure if she was the right girl. Or not until I saw what happened inside there. I was waiting for this chance to get her. And now, Gleaves has her in, her ha in our hands. Donna! Well, we failed immediately, chat. Damn, he just slammed us into that wall. You have no chance against me, my dear. D 
Madonna. Well, chat, we were entrusted with our safety. Literally not even a minute later, we failed. <laughs> so there you go, chat. Plot twist. All right. Donna, oh, where is she? Julius took her to the west in his airship. I'm going. Then take this with you. Received the magic book of heal. Learned heal. This magic will help you recover. Thanks. Bye, old... Actually, we'll talk to old man one more time. Julius went westward in his airship. It's almost like we were told what was to the west already in anticipation of this event. Oh my gosh, chat. That willpower regen, though, is super good. Look at it, chat. It's already full again. The murder is coming towards them. Don't you mess with me, Pigman. I got big AoE with this. We found gold. How much does gold sell for? Which seems... Unless it's, like, literally not a physical item and it just became our inventory. I just want to double check. No, it's a physical item. Small boy out of my face. Alright, so if we sell gold, how much does it sell for? That's a lot of money. Well... We went from 1800 to 2600 thanks to that. So yeah, our 33 HP self is one-shotting everything near us. So I don't think I have anything to really worry about. Crab. I leveled up on Crab Murder chat. So we're at 22 power. Keep in mind we started at 2 at the beginning of the game. I would like more power chat. So again, slowly scaling our defense upwards. Maybe eventually I'll want MP, maybe. I don't really know. Honestly, I'd only really need it for like the final couple of fights. Where I just want to spam cure. Found Nectar, which I think might be MP regen. That double kill was so sick. Oh, this weapon is so powerful. <laughs> Just look at that chat. Okay, curiosity. Does this follow Mystic Quest rules where Axe actually does something? Oh, Axe, Axe, Axe actually works here. Oh, look at that chat. It had a purpose. Which is kind of funny that I called it Mystic Quest because I think the European uh, release called this game Mystic Quest. Which is confusing, because there, we already played Mystic Quest on the, in the US version. Hmm, so does that mean I could have skipped... That means I could have skipped going to the town with her. Interesting. Stupid bee. That pig is so dead. Oh, the slowness of the axe. Took some big damage there. Let's use a cure. Hmm. Crab th oh, the oh, I love I love the spooky face in the mountain. We'll go there in a moment. Right, now that I might not need this anymore, let's go back to chain or something. Get that extra reach. Oh, there's two spooky caves. Hmm. Ooh, choices, chat. Uh, I'll go to the top spooky cave first, then we'll go to bottom spooky cave. Wah! Don't walk in my mouth! Oh! Yuck! Oh. Guy- Okay, so we <laughs> we're not allowed to walk in the spooky cave's mouth. I can't talk to this, right? No. Okay, so maybe we need to become more tasty. <laughs> maybe that's our plot point to go forward. I really don't remember what we have to do to get to the airship. But at least we should be able to go to the other spooky cave. Oh, there was another cave right there. That sucked. Did not see it. Should have looked downwards. Um, so I could go to the beach. Ooh, nice level up, though. 
I might get one thing in stamina here. Yeah, let's get one thing in stamina just to get a little more defense. I don't think I'm lacking in damage at the moment. I just need to increase my survivability. Okay, so what is this place about? Uh, oil? Hmm. Presumably I need that for something. Crystal's worth a lot. Sell the... Well... I should probably keep the sword. Uh, I don't need this many... Crystals? Oh, it's such a waste. Annoying. So what am I gonna do? Let's test to make sure if Nectar recovers stats. Or not. It doesn't recover MP. Unless it's just like a super heal. Actually, I really don't know what that item does. I guess we'll find out eventually. So I have three Maddox, two, three sets of keys. Might be a bit excessive. We lost the super cure, but we have like a million other cures, so I'm not really that worried. And more nectar. Okay. Oh, I found the dwarf cave. Hello, welcome to the dwarf cave. Yeah, welcome to my whip, fool. Not my face. Oh, if this place gives the morning star, I'd be so happy. Ah, it has its own will and feelings. It likes silver. Strange, isn't it? Okay. So I, I, the goal of becoming tastier is actually not that far off. Watts likes the mine. He went there today, too. He's looking for some silver. Okay, so if we find Watts, we'll get silver. Then the cave will eat us. Crab indeed, chat. So where's the cave? I used to play at the old mine with Watts. Wanna use the trolley? You have to oil it. You could get it at the store to the south. Okay, well, I got the oil, I think. The airship went to the west. The Gaia Pass leads to the western land. Okay, so we need oil for the trolley. Or that. Did I, I did not pick it up. Let's get rid of the nectar then. Let's get rid of the nectars because I don't know what they do. We're going to keep the crystals for now, but I need to remember to burn an next boss fight. Let's go buy oil, and now if we find the minecart, we could get silver to go into the cave in order to make progress. So we we know vaguely what we have to do. I just don't know where specifically that cave is, but we'll find out, I guess. So let's go get the oil. We'll murder things on our way towards the oil. Our gold right now is insane. So let's get plot oil. And more nectar. Hmm. So that's where we came in from. Was there another cave that I missed other than Gaia that we can't go in yet? There's the post that I used earlier. Ooh, we don't one-shot the pig unless it's more charged. Interesting. How do we get to that one? Is there a path down here that I missed? No. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that could be where the the Gaia cave exits. That could be a red herring. Uh, let's try going north. So we didn't go this way yet. <laughs> Game, please. I can go the long way. How rude. Love the house in the middle of nowhere. Ah uh, yes, the bees mortal 
Mortal Nemesis slash counter weapon the whip. Whip those bees out of the sky. Nice level up. Okay, I went one point in stamina. Let me do another point in power. I think our defense is about where it needs to be again, so let's just get more damage. 10 gold a night? Sure. I have so much money it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I think... I think we can all agree, chat, my money problem is non-existent. Let's save over the save file. Hmm. Now we're just looking for the mine. We have the item we need to progress. We just need to reach it. Okay, this is promising. Look at that willpower, chat. Look at it charge. <laughs> we're gonna be doing so much more damage in general. Holy, it just... the scaling is real. And we're, we're taking the oil. Okay, whip that. I don't know if that was a good thing or not yet. I'm gonna say that's probably not a good thing. Oh, oops. I didn't realize it- I didn't realize it reset itself. Oh, that's rude. Okay, then I just don't do anything in that room. You got me, game. We mon carts, so just don't attack it. One would have thought you needed to hit the switch to progress, but that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Oh, I think I missed my- oh, missed the whip. That's so rude. On the plus side, we're getting XP. So I think I know what we need to do, it's just timing, so ignore that one. Don't ignore that one. Don't ignore that one. We and then we die. Alright, chat. Crash bang boom. End of game. Yeah, I'd like to really question why this is their system to mine things, but oh, what said? Are you okay? We dot dot dotted him. Thanks. Do you know this cave well? Looking for silver. Let's go together then. Wait, I don't know how what we just said flowed into that sentence, but sure. What happens if I ask you? What do you do? I have very useful things. Oh. He's got X Cure. Okay, let's get upgraded Cure then. Sure. Actually useful. Again, I don't know what Nectar does. So let's get rid of that for now. Um, get rid of re regular cure. I mean, I have so much money, I'll leave one nectar in case we need it later, but honestly... Two X cures here is probably good. You know what, we'll get a third. Soft will cure stone, eye drop cures blindness, pure I think gets rid of poison. Moogle counters Moogle. Which will make sense to people that have not played mono later, we have not seen what Moogles are yet. Technically, I guess if you played Final Fantasy, maybe you're aware of them. Oh, look at that angry mimic. Okay, so they at least thought about not softlocking you here. So I appreciate that we could buy Maddox from him, because we're going to need these. This needs a key, too. I'm going to roll my eyes. Okay, this going to be like, come on. Oh, he chucks his axe at people. Alright, so there was a hidden passageway here. Whether this is progress or not, I don't know. Oh, you're like a... You're like a conveyor belt. That's not... It's not how I thought ice would work, but you got me, game. We... Um... I think I unintentionally made progress. It's fine, we'll, we'll keep going. Evil Mimic. Weird bug creature that was minding its own business before I murdered it. Okay, nothing hidden there. Nothing hidden there. This room looks too weird to have the passage to the north. That's why I don't check it. It's kind of like Legend of Zelda 1 rules where it has to be in the Cardinals. It's not going to be like slightly offset or anything. It 
damage and range of the whip is insane right now, chat. We're still one-shotting everything, despite one defensive level up. Okay. So, like... Did... Does he just normally go on a killing spree every time he wants silver? How does this work? Okay. Feels like a boss arena. It is a boss arena. What are you? Are you gonna, like, fly between the two points? Oh, you're one of these bosses. Got it. Only the head is targetable. Oh, that's annoying. I wasn't sure what pattern it was going for there. I learned the hard way. Let's just cure ourselves with cure magic. Oh, the bait. Uh, so whip is super good here. Oh, is he gonna come towards me? Okay, so the only place, the safe spot would have been in the middle. That's fine. Oh, he hit me while dead. Did you see that? That was rude. Stupid megapede. Post death damage. Okay, we found the silver. I'll take it back and forge armor and swords. Gaia will let you in if you wear silver stuff. Come see me at the dwarf cave. Bye, you're on your own. Well, hopefully there was no interesting upgrades in the cave, but given the fact that we have to use, uh... What's it called? Silver. I doubt that there's anything there that would have been a serious upgrade. So I, I might as well just pay to heal since I'm here to get my MP back. Oh, he damaged me through the tile. <laughs> that checked. Oops. So sadly, he did not level me. That is the downside of overleveling. I think we have slightly overleveled, but that's not going to stop me from killing. It's just too satisfying swinging your weapon once and destroying everything near you. Like that pig? I could have chose not to kill him. Where's the fun in that? Actually, I think I need this one more time. That damage is so high. It's, I'm not even letting the will gauge charge that much. Like, it, it's really powerful right now, don't get me wrong. If that's gold, that'd be so funny. I like the candy, though. Okay, guys, so let's see what they give us. You have anything to say now that I saved them? Assuming that's the guy we have to talk to. Do you have anything new to say? He made the silver stuff. Cool. Guy has its own will and feelings. Yeah, yeah, we found that out. Oh my gosh, that willpower meter is so fast. I made some things out of that silver. Take these and you can pass through Gaia. You're gonna make me purchase them? What a... What a dick. <laughs> hey, remember that silver that uh, I helped you get? Yeah, I'm gonna pay. Uh, you're, I'm gonna charge you money. <gasps> wow, what what a highway robbery this is. Well, I'm glad I was killing stuff earlier. By the way, oh boy, wow, six extra damage. Silver shield doesn't really matter. More importantly, three extra defense. Alright, so let's get rid of the iron stuff. Yeah, yeah, we know about that. I'll leave the candy in there for now. Let's get rid of these. We can get rid of just broadsword by itself, because we already have a better sword. So, we lost about 2,000 total, but fortunately we were at like 4,000, so it didn't super matter. But more importantly, we just got, I think, another three defense or so, so we're effectively immortal right now. I would have to take about 43 hits. Excuse me, I've leveled up, so I'm gonna take more than 43 hits to die now. Uh, power again, why not? So our defense is at 30, attack power is 43, HP is 47. Our attack power is almost higher than our HP, which is kind of funny. I can't carry that item. Um... I don't think it matters. If it's gold, I don't really care. You know what I'm gonna do? There's too many items again. There's a lot of inventory management in this game. I'll leave Maddock on for now, but I'll just keep in mind that we'll be getting rid of it soon. 
Once we get the weapon that destroys things in Maddox's place, I'm gonna be so happy. So that's way less item management that I have to worry about. See, so yeah, now we have like, okay. Yeah, the sword range is terrible, honestly. Screw the sword, I'm going back to Sickle. We still one-shot because we're so powerful. I guess that was a puzzle. Stepping between the statues, closed the door. I just repeatedly walked in between them to turn it back on. <laughs> that, that was like puzzle for dummies. Wait, Blue. I don't know who said that. Bogart! Donna was taken by Glaive. Sibba told me about that. Julius is good at disguising. But don't worry, we can save her. Leave's airship is refueling at a lake up north. I'll come with you and help. Let's go. Okay, let's ask him. What does he do? Yemenites can use the special powers of weapons. Try and see it when your willpower is full. Oh, you're just an advice giver. Oh, suddenly all werewolves or something. Hmm. Can I ax my way over to them is the question. Not from there. Maybe from here? Yes. Blocked by two sets of items. Let's go ahead and use a candy. Just get rid of that. Found a cure. Okay, that's better than candy. So that was mission accomplished. Um... I really need to use these crystals at some point. I'm gonna ignore that treasure chest, because I can't pick it up. So that means it's not anything of interest for me. Ooh, it's like the little fish folk. I love those. I murdered a hedgehog, and I think I just murdered Oddish. Oh. There's an inn. Sure, I'll stay again just to recharge my HP. Hmm. So we have to go to the north, but what about- what if we go the other direction? Or is there any hidden things I should be aware of? Let's go check it out. Alright, that feels like way too much progress. Let's not go that way. So I'm only taking two damage right now, which is a good sign. So if I level like- I got blinded. It's more kind of an inconvenience than something that stops me from playing, so I don't think I'm going to bother with eye drops. Hmm. So either way, we end up at this little house. Nice level up. Well, we go from taking two damage down to just one, and our power continues to climb. Can't carry whatever's in here. Uh, man, I wish I didn't have this many items. I'll get rid of nectar then, because I don't know what it does. If it doesn't refill my crystal, I don't care. Oh, I found gold. Also, I just realized it's shy—it's shouting "wah" at us. <laughs> the little plant thing. Okay, we found another merchant. I'm gonna sell the gold. So we got another 750 back. I'll buy a silver helmet, which. Aren't I using already? What's the point of that? Okay, Ether should be MP. I'm confused. Am I not using a silver helmet? Oh, I'm not. Oh. Wow, okay. Well, now our defense is about to go through the roof. So, we got another 5 defense, so... I think, effectively, I can't take damage again already. Because we've just been doing raw power and stamina. Yeah, I took one damage. We can survive 46 hits right now. Very fair. Uh, I'm gonna go back to chain, because it's got more range. So it still takes two hits to kill. Oh, I forgot about that. So I'm gonna check what's to the south. So it was definitely worth exploring to the upper left, because we just got like a free five defense, essentially. Because we killed and gained as much money as it cost to get on the way there anyway. Money total back up to 3,500. Double fish folk. Take two hits to kill currently. 
Uh, so what was down here? Think of interest there. Hopefully it wasn't just like a wrap around, because that would kind of suck. Found more nectar, so I could sell that if I need it. Oh, it really was just a wraparound. That sucks. So I guess if you didn't have the axe, you couldn't take the shortcut. But I'm not sure how you would have made progress before without the axe. Oh well, at least we learned. Okay, so powered up whip instantly kills everything near us. Good to know. Poor hedgehog things. Hmm. We have so many advanced cures. Do I want to get rid of anything? Probably not. So I'm going to try to remember for the next boss fight to use a crystal so we free up some inventory. Okay. Let's take a look around here. We're on the other side of the forest. This feels like plot progress. Here's the lake they were talking about. So let's go ahead and save. Already level 16, not too bad. We're fighting Angry Cloud. Force. It shoots little wind gusts at us. So hopefully we can chop our way through the woods here, or else I don't know where to go. We'll have to look around. Axe to the rescue again. Oh, nice try. I was already switching to the whip. Can I only reach that with full charge whip? That is so rude. Well, mandatory wait, chat. Mandatory wait. I gotta wait for it to full charge. There we go. Rude. Okay, I don't know what the point of that whipping post is. Can I even reach it from the other place? Don't want me. Stupid oddish thing. chest is actually trolling me. That's so sad. Um... Get rid of the double Maddock, which is kind of annoying. Especially for a candy. That was not worth it. But I needed the chest out of the way. I'm gonna use the candy, so we have a free slot. I still have 14 Maddox, so I'm okay. I'm not in panic mode yet. If I'm down to 7, I'm scared. Oh. We have a whip puzzle, it looks like. There's only one way to really go, so I'm not sure if I really want to call it a full-blown puzzle. Oh, I found the airship. Let's go ahead and save. Got 100 XP from leveling. It's not too far away. Oh, by the way, I haven't been looking at my map at all. Also, apparently I can't look at the map while I'm in that area. Oh, actually, let me look at that map again. So it shows me where all the towns are on the map, but it doesn't show me, like, which areas are passable. It's literally just a big grid with, like, five houses on it and nothing else is filled in. So I don't have a sense of, like, where the lakes are or the caves or anything else. So that's not a good map for the overworld, for sure. Uh, well, they're refueling the airship. I've killed the pig man. Can we climb the mast? No, we can't. I mean, when the enemy has sentient clouds fighting you, do you really want to be messing with him? Found more candy. Cool. Chests we can't acquire over there, that's so sad. Now 4kg. Oh, hello, random person. A girl is being held in a room in this airship. Well, I'm gonna whip you for helping me. That's what you get, you fool. So far, the Gemma Knight has not really been that useful. It's just kind of tagging along. If he knew magic, I'd be happy, because he could kill these slimes. I'm gonna face tag the slime. Oh, I love... Those eye things are so annoying. We're gonna be seeing a lot of those in Secret of Mana. Another enemy I can't kill with non-magic. Unless Old Man can kill them with his magic sword. Old Man is also useless here. Hello, random person. Get back to work! Uh, you want us to work with there's literal ghosts trying to kill us? Oh, 
I think his priorities are a little warp chat. Oh, nice level up on the pumpkin head. Well, I'm definitely getting more power. So our defense is up to 37, not bad. We have two paths to go to. There's a room with all werewolves, but unfortunately for them, they have the whip. They can apparently leap over the barriers. That's good to know. Okay. Not carry this item. Um... I got rid of candy, replaced it with the cure. That's not bad. What was in this door? See, that's the kind of questions I ask myself when I play this game. Like, which area is the bonus area and which area is progress? I'm gonna save here. If this looks like progress, I'm just gonna reset. I'm hoping this is not progress. Many years ago, Dark Lord found a baby in a cave at the waterfalls near Glaive. That's Julius. Oh no, chat, we're getting the villain lore. Don't you shoot a little eye beam at me. Get out of here, stupid eye sentry. Wow, that was a very unfortunate poison. It dodged my whip. Rip all my HP. Hmm. This leads to steps downwards. Mouse sucks, chat. It does so much. That did more damage to me than every other enemy in the dungeon combined. <laughs> Stupid mouse. Oh, come. Mm, this is why I need to use Sickle. So now I have to cure myself. I got touched twice and just lost all that HP, by the way. I lost almost 40 HP so far, just the poison. Okay, we're gonna X cure for sure there. So all this just leads to the same area, more or less? Interesting. Angry Cloud is in the way. Oh, so there's no... Oh no, just it let me out over here, okay. I'm mashing attack to reduce damage taken. Oh, so this just goes to another part of the ship, okay. I don't think I was supposed to go this way yet, so maybe I did have to go the other way. But at least we can see there's the bottom of the ship. Presumably we're jumping off of it at some point. I got ultra bad news for the werewolves, though. The whip is just gonna utterly destroy them in that then guard or The mice almost got the jump on me. I'm resetting. That pattern looked terrible. I got lucky I didn't get poison there, to be honest. Alright, so this looks like the exit route when we escape with the girl. So presumably the place I skipped was progress, which is fine. Just gives us a chance to get more money and an idea of where to go. Murder all four werewolves. Stupid werewolves. Give me that level up. More power, chat. More power. So I took what... So... Curiosity, what was the thing that I could Maddox to get through here? Let's equip the double Maddox that I have. Oh, I got rid of that already, that's right. So what was over here? Huh. It's locked, okay. Uh-huh. What a weird series of rooms. I think I went this way before. It's interesting that it loops back here, though. So this is where I got injured before. Interesting. So the Maddox is just a shortcut to go back to the other set of rooms. Interesting. Well, okay, so if we had known that, we could have shortcut through the dungeon to get through here. So that's where I'm saying, like, a replay of the game is always kind of interesting. Because with the right tools, you could skip out a lot of rooms. I walked right into the mouse. Got lucky I didn't get poisoned again. I'm gonna bully the zombie out of my way. 
Let's go backwards a little bit. I'm looking for the room with the suspicious uh, werewolves, which I think is back here somewhere. Through there. Again, the worst thing that happens, I lose some items and I can hold more. <laughs> That's all how I view it. So I think, yeah, this is the werewolf room. This was probably progress. So let's just whip our way through here again. Because I don't see where else the girl would be based off of the rooms, unless I missed a downward door somewhere. Uh, fellow villager, probably don't walk on the spikes barefoot. Julius is taking charge of this airship. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I, I mean, you don't want to talk about all the zombies in the airship? You're just cool with that? Ugh, locked. That's annoying. Oops, all werewolves, apparently. Found a cure? Okay. Can I sleep in the werewolf room again? That's hilarious. I was just like, yeah, I almost died in here. Let's just have a quick little nap. No, it's, it's past my character's bedtime. Okay, key will presumably lead to plot progress. There we go. Donna! Hurry, it's moving. This door is locked. How about the windows? It may open. I'll get you from outside. Be careful! I could talk to her again. She just says be careful. So now I think we were looking at the windows before. I'll stay and guard Donna. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just let the old- we left the old man to die essentially, Chad, is what just happened there. We're like, bye, hope you don't get murdered by all the millions of werewolves and the, uh, evil sorcerer and the ghosts and the clouds that spew lightning or whatever at us. You're on your old- you're on your own, old man. Well, fortunately, we mostly know where to go to get back. And I could just murder stuff on the way there to level. Single ghost is baiting me. On the plus side, our willpower regen is looking insane at the bottom of the screen. So even if our stats stop mattering as much as we level, uh, the willpower regen, I think, will always be important. The more we have that, the stronger we are. Especially if we have natural downtime between boss attacks. Look at that, Chad. I remembered how to get back here so we could shortcut out of here. Responsible gaming. Uh, let's equip one of the cures. Almost feel bad for them. I mean, we're so strong at this point. Oh, also the flickers. Stupid mouse, get out of here. Oh, he thought he could get me there. Nice try, though. Yeah, good enough. So presumably she'll be in one of these windows. Maybe the one on the far end for a dramatic effect. Oh, there she is. Let's go! Keep this pendant, Blue! Give me the pendant! Oh, well, I mean, if you set fire to the bridge, we can't really do that. Hold on! I... I can't! Oops. And then we fall. And then we crash through a house's roof. Wow! Somebody came down from the sky! Blue? Do you know him? Lou. GG, roll credits. Oh, look, it's Amanda from the beginning of the game. I'm glad to see you again, my friend. I came back from Glaive after you left there. Oh, Blue. I'm sorry, but I have to.
Did we lose the pendant already? Where am I? Pendant? Where is it? Wow, we are so bad. <laughs> Chat, listen, they should instruct us to not do things, so that way when we inevitably do it, we unintentionally help them, because <laughs> we are 0 for 2 for keeping things safe. We failed to protect the girl technically twice now, and we've now lost the pendant. I thought that it was Amanda talking to me. Oops. We used to see many chocobos around here. I saw an egg in a forest up north. I'm whipping you. Uh, can I sell some of the massive amount of junk I have in my inventory? Uh, I should sell solo key, because solo key is useless. Uh, can I sell Maddox that's used? Let's use sell use Maddox. I could buy a spear from him, sure. We got the wind spear. Hold on a second, did that ing did that change my defense slightly? Or just flickered? Oh, it just flickered. I mean, Lance has got some reach to it. Are you okay, boy? You're in Meadows. Amanda left the village earlier this morning. Get out of my way, old man. I'm looking for the item shop. There it is. Amanda's little brother, Lester, is a musician. He's playing harp in a town called Jad. There we go, chat. They all know each other's backstories. It's really convenient. The Book of Ice is hidden somewhere in the desert. Seems like a weird place to hide it. What's wrong with Amanda lately? She's depressed. Hmm. You used to hear a beautiful sound of harp over in Jad. Jad is at the north end of the desert. Okay. So if we want to find her, she's in the north end of the town, north end of the desert. So she's presumably trying to see her brother, and what we could piece together is she needs the pendant to help her brother somehow. So that's that's the story so far, recap from all that we've heard there. Okay, so let's get another key. Um We saw a regular cure and replace that with the Maddock, I think. That way I, that way I'm gaming responsibly. So I now have two Maddox, I have three keys, which might be a little excessive. But more importantly, I have two Maddox. So we used about five in that dungeon because I backtracked a little bit. So as I said before, it fluctuates a little bit. It'll be really nice when I don't have to worry about that anymore. So now there's a hidden spell somewhere. Oh, max charge uh, spear means I just chuck it like a javelin. That's kind of nice. Still taking about two hits to kill most things. Although Hedgehog dies to partially charged, uh, Lance. Appropriate level up, because we need more damage. Or Wisdom score, chat. It is so unloved. <laughs> it's, let's, our, our main power is at 37, because I put one point in stamina earlier. And Wisdom's still at 2. To give you an idea of the stat disparity. We are not wise for our age. Lots of lizard folk. Pudana, what happened exactly? So this area is home to the the poor wrecker of small children. There is a puzzle here that I couldn't figure out right away. I know what the solution is now, at least. Also, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw this, I was reminded of Legend of Zelda, and I always check it to see if there's a hidden door there. <laughs> I was like, we got trained. Let's go to the inn. It still only costs 10 to sleep. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm still a fool, I think. But, interesting. Poor lizard folk. We are just absolutely... We're, we are actually one-shotting them with partial power. So this is where, again, willpower charging faster equals more damage. So we're gradually just doing more minimum damage, and also our scale damage is insane. So we're one-shotting the mermen. So we're just exploring the desert for now. We were informed to Chocobo. Egg was to the north as well, I think. So I think they replaced it with something else in the other games. But we'll be seeing some Final Fantasy references if we play the original versions versus the remakes. Because I guess they didn't get the, uh, the sign-off to use Chocobo anymore. Just making sure we didn't miss anything there. Double-checking over here. Stupid place. 
What happens if I go through here now? Does this do anything yet? It does. Okay, so chat, I that was technically a sequence break. I'm not supposed to know about that. The hint is something like, think, think of eight in the desert. We'll find that clue later. I'm not gonna go there now, just be aware. I got my revenge on that puzzle. Because I really wasn't sure where to do that on top of not knowing what order to go in to unlock that. So we'll pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> we have to find the plot reason to do that first. Oh, you're a merchant? You have flame spells, a better flame spell, and ethers. I probably want an ether at some point. I'm gonna get rid of a nectar to hold an ether. I'll get an X ether. Just to assertively restore our MP in case I ever feel like raising it later. So we need to go there at some point, but I think we were supposed to go to the village first. So let's go find the village that's at the other end. And our damage is just so damn high. Found a fang, okay. I think that's just the sellable given the icon. So just a partially charged spear is enough to kill the weird amphibian things. Scorpions don't quite die yet, but hey, that's what another level up is for, right, Chan? I'm now up to 67 health, so it seems like the past couple of levels are giving more than just 2 HP. That one was uh, 4 HP on that level up. So if we go at this rate, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, imagine trying all these screens, like, doing random 8 figure patterns to see if you could get it to work. What a waste of time. Uh, so there's something over here. Let's continue this way. Also, this is rude because, like, you would also think because this is a place where you could do, like, a figure eight, that this also is where you're supposed to do the figure eight. Like to point out, I wasted a lot of time as a child there, not understanding what the puzzle wanted. So the fact that they have two trees like that that are still technically in the desert is really messed up. I've just like to state. Like, it's just actually messed up. Ooh, listen to the silence of the town. Welcome to Jad. Davius rules this town. I hate it. I heard it, chat. They hate it. Davius' mother is a Medusa. She's in a cave. It's by the oasis at the desert, but it's hard to find. I don't know how, but a boy knows how to get in. Exactly, chat. So anyway, so <laughs> that's where we have to go, but I wanted to show you the plot reasons why we go there. Davius can cast a spell to change people into animals. Many people went to his place and never came back. Uh-oh, chat. Davius, not a nice person. Cave of Oasis, I'll tell you for a bag of fang. Sure. Here's the clue. Palm trees and eight. Got it? Yeah, that was our hint, by the way. I did not mean to use that cure, but that's fine. So anyway, we had to farm to get that clue, technically, but, uh, nothing interesting in the item shop. Mm-hmm. Fuck the old man here. Northern Valley is filled with fatal poison gas. That sounds like a lovely place. We'll be visiting there soon, I'm sure. Okay, random merchant dancing around over here. Done curse, you need a teardrop of Medusa. Okay, well, I think we're seeing where this is going, chat. <laughs> <laughs> we may or may not have to go find the Medusa to uncurse somebody. There's the royal manor up here. Let's casually go through here. Look at the bird, chat. <laughs> I, I tried talking to, but apparently just chucked a spear at it. Better behave yourself in this town. Amanda? Oh yes, that girl. She went to the cave of Medusa. Nobody ever came back from there alive, though. How ominous. So anyway. So we could have skipped coming to this town, if Chad is curious. If you wanted a mini-sequence break without uh, straight up glitching through the game. You could skip getting the Bag of Fang. But I'm curious, because I think there should be a weapon shop here. The poison gas appeared when the harp stopped. Well, chat, let's put together the clues. 
If we cure the person turned into an animal, they'll play the harp, which will clear the poison gas so we could go to the Northern Valley to presumably get a chocobo. That is, that is our plot goal so far. See that huge mansion? That's Davies' house. We're already there, kid. There's the weapon shop. Let's see what they have in store. We got 5k. We could probably afford something. Ooh, oops, all gold. Sure thing. I'll buy all gold. So we were not taking that much damage before, and I don't think we're going to take any damage now. So keep in mind, we're at 40 defense. We're now at 46. 51. <laughs> we, we're now taking 11 less damage when struck. Okay. That feels a little unfair. Well, Chad, I think you can see why I wanted to stop here for defensive reasons, if nothing else. Yeah, we're taking a damage point now. Yeah, that's very fair. Considering we have a cure that cures 20, that's basically 20 free hits. I would like to get one more power level up, because we're just not quite one-shotting yet. We're getting close. I don't remember where the cave was. I think it was downwards, but I want to see what's over here before we go further. Oh, it's just another oasis. That's fair. Anyway, let's proceed. And me leaving them alive so I could get more XP on the way out. Intended. Nice. Oops. I'm getting wad at. Alright, so all I'm looking for is the oasis. We were there earlier. I just need to find it again. Are you Fang? We got Rupee. Okay, don't really need that. There it is, okay. So, you could kind of tell this is the place you're supposed to go. Chat might notice that I pause every now and then. That's the game checking to see if you're figurating. Amanda! Did you take the pendant? Why? I'm sorry. I had to bring it to Davius. The pendant was to exchange for my brother, but... Davius cursed him and turned him into a parrot. Oh no, Chad, he got parrotized. I must get the Tears of Medusa to uncurse him. Amanda, I'll help you. Thank you. Ooh, I like the little shadow people. They'll show up quite a bit in the later Mana games. I think they're like Shadow X's or something. So you can see our damage is not super great anymore. So you can see that we, we went up at difficulty spike, so I'm kind of glad we got defense. These things, however, die instantly. We don't care about those. Yeah, so that just leads back to the end. That would have poisoned me. Oh, she's got throwing daggers. Nice. Convenient level up, because we're not one-shotting anymore. <laughs> right, Chad? We go from 67 to how much? Another 4 HP. We're at 71 HP. 57 attack, 52 defense. Not bad. Now we're one-shotting. That's what I want to see. Not one-shotting the shadow people, though. And the mummies are immune to physical, so we gotta, we gotta slightly respect them. Ooh, so we still need a little bit of a charge on the snakes to kill them. That's a bit unfortunate. But not that much charge. Alright. This is just kind of a dead-end room for XP. Let's go the other way. Rude. It's this vicious wall I want to check out. Ooh, the shadow did like 20 damage to me. That is an insane damage difference. I'm glad we got defense. I would have died earlier, by the way, I think. Huh, I would have thought that would have been a secret place. Unless the lance just can't tell. Let me just double check. Nope, that sounds normal. 
Honestly, I'm gonna go back to the whip. I prefer the range. So now the question is, where do we need to go? So all that just kind of links here. Don't care about that. Hmm. Ah, uh, smashable. And we got some Maddox. It's like I like the concept of some of the dungeons, but again, the Maddox being mandatory to progress is kind of annoying, as you would imagine. I prefer not to kill anything in this room, so let's ignore that room for now. I'm gonna kill the happy lizard. Took a lot of damage there. I'm gonna use the other cure if I still got it. I do. Get rid of the weaker cures for now. But indeed, not a parachan. So I'm still trying to get a little bit of XP, because as you can see, like, I'm not... Like, I'm about the right level now for the area, but I'm also not that far from leveling again. Let's ask her a question. I'll heal you from stone. Oh, she could cure stone. That's convenient. Got darkness, which is kind of annoying, versus the shadow monsters, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I almost added the shadow people. How did that not level me? Am I like one XP from not leveling? Oh, excuse me. I'm like one kill from leveling. I prefer not to heal with healing items. Okay, so we have a suspicious place we can Maddox. What happens if I go past it? Hmm. Please level me. Thank you. All right, now we could go back to the suspicious, uh, suspicious place, because now I got slightly better defense, better power. So again, we're not neglecting our defense. It is slowly going up. And we did buy the best possible armor. You can see damage can be very high. So let's go ahead and get the Maddox, I guess. We have a snowman. Use the way down the switch. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Oh, there's a one way there. Okay. So. The game was trying to teach us something. And that's snowmen can weigh down the switch. So let, let's put on our thinking caps. The game told us earlier the Book of Ice is hidden somewhere in the desert. Is it literally hidden in the same cave? Did you really petrify me? So rude. Hopefully the book is just in here. If it's not, I'm going to be very sad. It's locked. So I like the game trying to teach you organically how to solve the puzzle. So it's like, <laughs> copy me, stupid. Okay, so we found a healing spring. It's not super useful. <sighs> Don't want to deal with the shadow people. Again, the range of the whip is so good. I like the sickle also, just to keep them off of you. So yeah, let's keep looking for the ice book, and then I think that might lead us to the boss. So we have a lot of puzzle stuff over there. Is there anything other than puzzles we could deal with at the moment? Let's push you out of the way with the shields. That's so scary when they walk towards me like that. I really don't want to see that. That's so scary when I play action games. So it's just a dead end. But this could lead to the book. Found gold armor. Aren't I wearing that already, though? I am. That's unfortunate. Well, if we had skipped the shop, I guess that would have been our first chance to reduce damage by 6. But that would mean the shadow people would probably be doing 40 plus to us right now, which sounds horrible. So I'm glad that we didn't wait for that. Okay, puzzle time. So we got whips. Alright, so it looks like maybe I got to... Oh, 
I don't know what the point of the post was. I didn't use it. Presuming this is the Book of Ice. Okay, we learned ice. Okay. So now we have what we need to complete the other puzzle. So I think what we'll do is we will go to the mansion, and then when we're done with the mansion, maybe we'll take a break? The game is not, like, super long. I guess it just really depends on how long it takes to get there. So we have at least... I'm planning on doing at least two bosses. We're coming up to the next one pretty soon. Actually, did this door stay unlocked? No, it didn't. Wow, that's rude. He's got wasted. Yeah, see, I also wish that if you did use keys, you don't have to use them again, unless you leave the dungeon. Leaving the dungeon is whatever. But I feel like if I'm still in the dungeon, it should not have resealed there. Um, I don't have that many X cures. I thought I had one more. I apparently had more pures. Let me get rid of one of the cures there that I don't need. I could trade a key for healing. I don't think that's a great idea, though. Let's just use a regular cure here. And hopefully I have enough for, uh, ice magic. Okay. So we know what we gotta do. Just gotta leave one alive for the ice magic. Or, you know, just, could just annoyingly both be on the same side. Oh, I killed both, so we gotta go back. Oh, it's so annoying. Alright, let me back up, like, two rooms and we should be good. I want one on the other side so I don't have to push it as far. Really, it's more than two rooms? Okay, well, we're learning today. Maybe it's three rooms? Because this room respawns, so I know we can walk the right distance as needed. Pillow might be useful. Let's see if that was good enough. Or actually, because the fact that it locks the room, we have to re Maddox, which really sucks. I might as well just go back this way. Just to ensure that we visited enough rooms, I'm gonna go this way. So you can see how it's very easy to lose items. Like, if you make any mistakes, you end up consuming quite a lot of usable items. So I got punished for it. So I feel like that's the true Final Fantasy Adventure experience. You will get punished hard for messing up. No! She's trolling! She's actually trolling! She's trolling, chat. Wow! She killed both of them? Oh my gosh, I'm getting actually trolled. You were witnessing, chat. She actually is stopping me from progressing. She's better than me. Holy. Throwing dagger too good, apparently. Really? <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back to the other place to heal. It's very annoying that I have to do this. Hopefully this restores MP, or I'm gonna be very sad. It does, okay. She's actually straight trolling. Did you- do you mind not killing the only thing stopping me from, uh, progressing? Alright, so hopefully she does not troll. I'm going to run out of Maddox if she does this too many times. I still have seven left, but keep in mind we still have more dungeon to go. So I don't know how much I need of it. Yeah, I did straight up get trolled. Alright, so I'm gonna hopefully try to manipulate it so that she doesn't kill both of them instantly. And if I see her doing it, I'm resetting the room. I swear if she kills that snowman, I'm gonna lose my mind. Because <laughs> I think you can kill it by whipping it, just for clarity. I'm gonna switch to Cure in case it's a boss. Oh. Just a mouse. And of course she can help me with the only enemy that would just kind of annoying to me. Unfortunately, we can just push up with her shield. Knowing you could do that is such a lifesaver, because I'm sure people playing the first time would never think you could just directly walk into an enemy. Like, you would think maybe your shield will block projectiles, but I don't think you would think you could straight up push them. So anyway, I think we're coming up to the boss, so why don't we save so I don't have to do that again? How much do I need to level? 60? So we're pretty close to leveling, so boss should level me. 
Medusa says, This will be your place to rest forever! Hi, Medusa. Why do you throw snakes at me? That's just rude. Oh, she bonked into me. At least the throwing daggers are doing something. I can't promise it's a lot of damage, but at least it's something. Anyway, whip MVP. Just line up with her head and just whip the snakes as they come out, because we could destroy the snakes with our whip, as you can see. So, th this should be over pretty soon. Thank you, Whip. You're so good. Got her, chat. Fade to black. Maybe if the shield looked bigger, I'd think that. Yeah, exactly. Came here to get my tears. Huh? What a joke. can't find a drop of tear. Let's go. Let's go back to Jad first. Ouch! Are you okay? I guess Medusa bit me while fighting. One who was bitten by Medusa turns to Medusa. Oh no, Medusa's like zombie in this universe? That's actually horrible. Wow, that, that's OP zombie mode, chat. I'm going to turn into a Medusa in a short while. Please. Do away with me and take my tears, Blue. No, I can't. I'm gonna be a monster. I might lose my mind and hurt people. Mozamba, exactly. Please, Blue, before I lose my feelings. Ooh, her sprite changed. She got darker. Please take my tears to Lester. Tell him that I loved him. Please. Blue. Please. I'm sorry, <laughs> the level of timing in the dramatic scene, not intended, but very funny. <laughs> yes, we, we did level. <laughs> and she's like, please, Blue, I'm dying. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> like this. <laughs> we failed yet another mission, chat. Okay, let's put it in power. So we went from 76 to 81, so we gained 5 HP that level up. So as long as we just consistently get one defense a level, and constantly raise power. I mean, we saw the strength of Whip by taking advantage of its range. It was pretty powerful. So as long as willpower keeps getting better, I think we're good. Oh, she oh, she damaged us. I'm sorry, Amanda, but I had to. Blue took a drop of tear from Amanda's face. Well, anyway, we just killed Amanda. So, I think almost everybody we know is dead at this point. Willie's dead, Amanda's dead. Um, Bogart's probably dead. I, I guess we'll meet Lester. Be like, hey, congratulations, we saved you. P.S. by the way, your sister's dead. Yay, happy ending. So yeah, this game is not messing around. We've killed so many named NPCs. <laughs> That time we literally killed them, as opposed to getting them killed. Oh, oops, I went in the poison gas. Ugh, poison gas! Anyway, if Chad was wondering what happened if I went this way, I get poisoned. I lost track of where the town was. I guess I deserved that. Well, anyway, that would have been an unfortunate way to die. Could you imagine just going there blind? Well, we're gonna pay for healing. At that point, it's worth, like, an entire cure item, which is not worth it to me. And we're back up to 6,700 gold. I love the silence. What happens if you ask when nobody's here? What does it even do? Nothing. N that makes sense. We'll take a look at the map. Nope, can't look at the map in town. we look at a map while we're in here we can okay so if we were truly lost it will map at least some of the rooms but again it's not going to point out when you need to use maddox speaking of maddox how many do i have left nine 
a little iffy. I'll go forward for now. Oh, Davius is conveniently not here. Forgot to get rid of Ruby, I think. We have Amanda in our inventory. Blue used Amanda. The tears of Amanda. Lester was released from Davius' curse. Thank you. I'm sorry to tell you, but... Amanda sacrificed her life to save you and all. To save me? Oh, Amanda. Will you please help me to avenge my sister? Yes, Lester. Thanks. Let's go, Blue. Mystic Tune? Yeah. Let's ask him. Change music. Oh, you just changed the dungeon music? Oh, he's just like a jukebox. He's good. I mean, I'm just gonna keep asking him. <laughs> right, chat? We have on-demand boss battle music. I like that more for dungeon crawling. So both of these are immune to physical. That's kind of annoying. Well, time to ignore them. See, this is where the sleep spell is really useful, because as you can see, there's a lot of items. And it, speaking of sleep spell, if we have the sleep spell, we could get by those very annoying enemies. So I think I'll be using this. Now the question is, Ah, uh, that is a place I can Maddox. Let's go investigate this first. So Lester has an arrow, which is useless against these enemies. Can I sleep them real quick? No. I think it also depends on the strength of my willpower. So if my willpower is too low, I think it will also not work correctly. Okay. I need a key. It's fine, I have spare keys. Another place I could go upwards, huh? Or it was his arrow making that sound! Lester trolled me! That's not fair. You can't use the same sound effect for that, that's just rude. Uh-oh. Let's try to dodge them. That was such a bait, chat. That was such a bait. Okay, we're making progress. That's a good sign. I still have my Maddox. I don't want to fall down the holes, for sure. We're taking one damage, so that's a good sign. Our defense is insane right now. So, fortunately, the oops all stamina power strategy is working. So rude of him to make the same sound effect. I'm shooting the arrows as I'm testing the walls again. What a troll. Okay, which one of these is required? I can't tell. Hmm. Unless I have to ice both of these characters? I don't remember this puzzle. Hmm. See, the problem with that is that we have very low MP, so guessing wrong here is a big waste of time. Hmm. If I ice, I'd be able to put my weight on two of the switches, which doesn't sound right. Should there have been a third enemy in, or something in here? No. Because clearly I'm supposed to step on the switch because it slows me down. And this time they at least thought about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to safety save before we waste our magic. Let's see if this is what it wants me to do. Okay. Oh. I didn't need to do that. That's fine. That's just that's just 2 MP. I'm not resetting for 2 MP. I don't know why that didn't trigger before. Maybe because I touched the other ones first or something. Anyway, we're going through here. Room of all, oops, all werewolf, which we kill in one shot now if it's part of a charged whip. 
So that's a good sign. Our power level's looking pretty good. There are a lot of enemies I can't deal with here. That kind of sucks. So we're seeing the downside of the power build at the moment. However, power is the main way we're going to be damaging all the bosses. So we're still pretty much... That did 27 damage to us. Huh. That's a lot of damage. I have two X Cures, an X Ether. Uh, let's use our MP. I'm gonna save to check my XP to level. Oh, I'm not that close. I need 500 XP. There's a lot of enemies I can't deal with. I'm gonna touch the switch in the corner and hope the fireball doesn't hit me. Hmm. Stepping on it doesn't seem to do anything. We might have to freeze something here, but let's come back to this room for now. Doesn't open. Oh, maybe I do need to freeze them and then try the door. That's fair. Oh, he, he froze in such an annoying spot. There we go. We got lucky there. Uh... Why are there caskets? Found where? Found a new axe. Uh... Problem. Where do I go? So we did use all of our magic. I have one ether. I have a couple cures. So like we we could do something. Also, I forgot to use crystal. Oops, my bad. I'll try to use it on this boss. Cause I think we're gonna need to have emergency ether for puzzles. So I think I did everything right. I think I was supposed to come here for the item, but that didn't tell me where to go. But fortunately we now have a pretty strong weapon, so that might allow for one shotting of everything. I wish it worked on these creatures, though. Hmm. Was there another path I neglected? That fireball does crazy damage to us. Oops, I died. I missed him by one swing, chat. I missed him by one swing. That was so sad. So the damage they deal is pretty crazy. If you saw, I took 37 times 2. That is most unfortunate. It's going to force an X-Cure out of me so I don't die to that. Hmm. Hold on to the... Oh, we can't leave until everything in here is dead. That's fair. We're fighting fighting game logic. So let's go back here. So fortunately, I saved right as I picked it up. <sighs> Come on. I just need to get by them and I can't push them, which is kind of annoying. Speaking of annoying, I wish my shield blocked their projectile, which is definitely a thing, by the way, that will happen at some point. I used the crystal because I forgot that was in cure. Oops. Well, that's one way to get rid of it. I looked at my HP and then went, oh, right, I didn't swap it. That's fine. I don't need, like, a lot of crystal. I just prefer, like, one for the bosses. And again, I don't like the throw axe, because that means that we can't attack for a while. So I'm definitely not a fan of max axe. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of this, because I think that is actually what got me killed. Or if I just stuck with whip, I would have been fine. Sorry, axe upgrade. Whip is just better. Alright, so all that was just for an optional item. So where was the real path? You take 50 damage going across the spike. I was not expecting that much damage. I'll be real with you. All right, so we might need to leave the dungeon and come back, because I'm now very low on items. Unless I have to fall here. Oh, I can't. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, right, either way, I think it might be worth returning to the entrance. Where was there another path? That is so unfortunate. Ooh, one HP. 
Oh, I also didn't have a cure equip. I went to use it. I was like, wait a minute. Spam that heal button. Okay, so we're definitely going back now because I wasn't sure where to go. Maybe it was literally just to the left there would have been what we needed to do. So all that was just for a weapon that I don't even like. That's kind of unfortunate, actually. Now, had that been like a whip or a sickle, that would have absolutely been worth it for me. Also, I'm dead again. Man, we're in such a bad spot because I don't have uh, a lot of healing. I was not expecting to take like 40 something damage a hit here, given how little damage we took earlier. So sorry about this chat, I'll try not to die again. So between the Shadow People and the Sorcerer, those things will basically two-shot me. So even though I've been getting stamina pretty consistently, like one point every level, and even though I've gotten the best possible armor, I'm taking insane damage if I get hit by those, which is unfortunate. And then also learning the spikes did 50 damage blew my mind. I thought it was only going to do like 20. I'm like, I'm, I'm okay damage boosting 20, but 50 was a bit much. I'm going to kill these for the XP. A cure is actually exactly what I was looking for. Okay, with that cure, I'm gonna stay in the dungeon then. I just needed something to mitigate some of the wizard damage. And stuff like that'll happen. I'll take random damage. Okay, so werewolves can be farmed if I need healing. Let's save. I've almost leveled, which I could take advantage of if I could just get out of this specific room. Seriously. Apparently you can't walk past. Oh, right, I can't cure stone, because the person that cures stone is not with us. Uh, how do I get out of this? Uh, I'm not sure how to get out of this. I think I might need to reset. Unless I feel like burning MP, which I really don't. I'm just gonna reset, I think. I think I'm legitimately in an infinite. I don't think I could- wait, no, no, there's one way I could get out of this. I lied. I think there's literally one way I could get out of this. It's with the sword. But I have to take damage here. That sucks so much, chat. Hopefully- there we go. I was gonna use the sword invincibility to do this. To break out of the stun loop with the stone, but we fortunately managed to blink out of it that time. It was not letting me hold right before, if you were curious. I was definitely holding right, it definitely did nothing. So sadly, it looks like the sword is just like a little too weak. Which is funny, because the chain was sufficient before. Okay. So. I really wish I could push them with my shield. Yeah, that enemy is a problem. He needs to go away. I don't think the boss fights are going to be that hard. I just forgot how big of a difficulty jump this area was. I think they really assumed you were grinding out in the desert. And like, to be fair, chat saw me kill basically everything both ways. So it's not like I have been skipping fights for the most part, except for the people you can't damage with physical weapons, of course. So maybe this was progress. So useless weapon that got me killed and wasted items. I'm going to equip a regular cure now, I think. There we go. Also, am I having controller drift? What was that? Switch, please. Did you see that? It was like moving in the menu. Okay, now I feel a little, I feel a little less bad. So all that just brought us back up here, which is fine. Because we have a ruby. Let's go get our items since we're here. We'll try again in the dungeon. Won't you avenge my sister? Well, I'm going. Yeah, whatever. Take your time. <laughs> right, chat? Like, it's fine. Listen, if he wasn't an annoying maze like mansion, I would have been fine. So sadly, because we took like 80 damage in two shots. We have to go back here and heal. I mostly just want my MP back without using X Ether, since I might need it for uh, ice puzzles. So I might actually take my first point in willpower just so that that doesn't happen again. I forgot how much I needed it at this point in the game. So let's get two X Cures. One more Matic. 
Do you... I, I think it does not like me mashing my input. <laughs> All right, I'll get rid of some of the pillows since the ones that I want to use it on are immune. It is useful, but not like... Not to that extent. Get rid of the silvers. So we have a lot of money, I just don't have a lot of inventory space, which is sad. That wear axe I'm kind of tempted to sell. Um, I think this is fine. So now what we have is... Three X cures... You know what? I can sell the I can sell the ruby and then get another X cure. I think that's the play. I'll keep one X cure equipped at all times. So now I have more than enough travel items. So I got fourteen Maddox. I have six keys. Should hopefully not need more than this. Still got a couple of crystals. I got one ether, one cure poison, which I might just dump the cure poison at this point. Kind of thinking about it. X cure is about the same as cure poison. Poison will scale based off of my HP, so it will eventually outscale my healing, sadly, because healing will be set. But I think this is good enough for now. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Stupid girl. So we're going to go back in the dungeon. This time we have much better items with us. We're not that far off from leveling, but sadly that one defense is not going to make a big difference. He says he was helpless all by himself. Darn right he was. So unfortunately that's not going to help me a lot versus the, the problem enemies here. I mostly need a better shield that can block their projectiles, which sadly we don't seem to have. So now the question we should be asking ourselves are, where is the path needed to clear the dungeon? Found a pillow, which I got rid of earlier, so that was kind of convenient. Found another pillow, can't do anything with that. Let's try down here, see what happens. The snake. The snake dodging my whip repeatedly was a bad experience for me. Holy. Okay, I'm going to go to Sickle. These enemies keep going into my tile. Which is a problem, because Whip does not hit my tile properly. So if I do this instead, they will not hit me. So we took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. It's locked. Okay, I still got four keys left. These sorcerers are the worst chat. Holy, speaking of which... Well, good thing we have some X cures, because we definitely need them. A, no a double locked door? Wow, this better be worth it. Mm. Very rude, chat. Thou needs two keys to pass. Okay, this is promising. We haven't been here before. I'm gonna save in case his arrow was making that noise, but presumably between those candles is progress. Okay. We're doing well. Lester, I kind of need... Oh, thanks, Lester. I kind of needed you to shoot there. All that just loops back to the throne room? Are you serious? Okay, please at least tell me this is somewhere new. Okay, that's better. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm not fighting him. Wait, every single... Every single one just went back to the same place? Seriously? Am I looking at that correctly? What? Huh. That's rude of the dungeon. So that shortcutted me, but that didn't tell me where I needed to go. <sighs> Please don't kill me with the fire magic, that's so powerful. And we're leaving this room. Hmm, so where did I miss something to do? Like, I went through here, unless there's like more than one passageway through here, which I guess is possible. Give me one second. I'm just making a note. So, if I go that way, I'm just going to end up where I got the wear axe. So I'm just thinking, where do I need to go?
So let's let's assume there's something I missed, I guess. And just take it one step at a time from there. So we're not really close to our next level up. Our next level up is at 16254. Is not great. Uh That didn't work. Let me try this way. Alright, so it was clockwise to go through there. I'm not sure where this put me. I guess that's the question. I'm just trying to think in my head, like, where this is going. So this is the werewolf room. Hmm. Was there something else I could have done in the room beyond? If I get another cure here, this is fine. I'm mostly just looking for a cure. Did not get the cure. So... I don't think this goes anywhere that I needed to go. That's where I'm a little confused. Like, was there something I could have destroyed here? Him shooting arrows makes it hard to tell. No. So there's nothing here to do. Hmm. Getting dark is annoying. I don't think that's where I want to go. Hmm. Uh, let me let me kill these things. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it hidden passage here? I was thinking about the- I was thinking about where I didn't check. Oh, that's rude. That is so rude. <laughs> Again, the dungeon design, a little evil. Yeah, we did not go this way. I'm like trying to think like where else could I have gone that would have been a gap. So this would put us one room above the wear axe room. It's so rude. That was like full brain power, Chad. I was like sitting there like, what room did I not check on the way here? Okay, I feel less bad. Okay, so we should be really close to the boss. Uh, let's check this way first. Locked. About over here. Also locked. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me if I didn't bring keys, it would just be GG, go back to the beginning? <laughs> well, anyway, chat, fortunately, I played Adventure before, so I brought some keys. Where does this go? Another room with an annoying sorcerer. Yeah, that, that's the level design I don't fully like from this game. Wait, this room has nothing in it? Wow. Wow. Wow, chat. Big wow. Okay, what's in this other door? That is so rude. Wow, that ate almost every one of our keys, by the way, chat. We're down to two keys. We walked in with eight, we're down to two. I used, I think, nine mana, because I got lost briefly. So that's why I want to make sure I got 14. Oh, this is very promising. We are 100% at the boss. I remember this. I don't remember how to fight the boss, but this is the boss for sure. Ha! Huh. You can never defeat me! Anyway, turned into- oh. You're an annoying sorcerer, got it. I'll save over here, since you're apparently allowed to just save in the boss battle. Let's try to use chain and see how this works. I'm not gonna lie, this seems really horrendous. How do you normally hit him? Let's observe the madness of this. So he's got a slow rotating barrier, which is fine. But how do I, like, get through all of his projectiles to get a hit? Like, I have, like, one shot every other step? Ugh, that's gross. 
Yeah, that... Mm, I don't know if I'm just overthinking it, but, like, there are so many projectiles on screen, and he's lagging a lot, so it's kind of hard for me to tell which one is actually aimed at me. So I could get, like, one or two strikes, but then stuff like that happens. You see what I mean? Like, it is actually really hard for me to tell because it's going so slow. <laughs> the frame rate actually not on my side. So I can whip him outside of range. That's fine. If I had sword, I could go through there. If I have axe, I could do powered up axe. Yeah, that's a good opportunity to strike. Okay. I don't need full whip, at least, to reach that. That's what I've learned. His slow frame rate is beating me, chat. It's better than me. Also, I think I took damage while healing. That kind of sucked. Because I didn't go up any health. No iframes while healing, apparently. Okay, yeah, we need to start doing way more damage. The problem, as I said before, I'm actually visually having a problem determining what attack is coming where. Okay, he died, finally. Ooh. Definitely not my favorite boss. <laughs> it, like, his patterns seem very easy, but, like, because it was, like, jittering and both the fireballs were near each other, I was like, for a moment, I couldn't tell which one was the one that's supposed to be rotating, and that hesitation got me hit a lot. But anyway, GG. Still an easy boss fight, I just don't like how that came out in terms of frame rate. We did it. The pendant is no longer here, my dear. Garuda is flying over Mount Rocks to glaive. Davius fell. Oh, thankfully they teleported us out of here. Going? Yeah. But the poison gas. My harp tunes will clear the gas, Blue. I'll stay here and play Requiem for my sister. Okay, Lester. I'm going. Take care. Take this book with you. It might help. Receive the magic book of Mute. Learn Mute. Well, that would have been nice if he used that in the boss battle. Thanks, jerk. Let's go heal. Unfortunate. Hmm. Contemplating if I want to do another area or not or stop here. I guess I could go slightly further. Need more. Need more keys as well. The game eight R keys, chat. Uh, I think the Maddox count is okay. I'm actually gonna sell our used key to get more keys. <laughs> That's how much I don't trust our key count right now, chat. This is actually happening. Fortunately, we have a lot of money, so it doesn't really matter. These are only 15 at least. Ah, uh, so that way we shouldn't have to worry about that. Somewhat soon, hopefully, we will get the item to bust walls, and then we'll be fine. Let's see if they have anything to say about this. The poison gas is cleared. Head north over the valley to Mount Rocks. Still talking about the uncurse? Get out of here. I guess we'll do Mount Rocks. It's a little earlier than I expected to finish. He just tells us good luck. Also, I can't walk through his music note. His music now is just too powerful, Chad. See that huge- oh. Stop talking about Davius' house. We killed him. <laughs> it's our house now, Chad. Welcome to Jad. Okay, he no longer talks about Davius, so he updated. Any of you have anything to say about what's going on outside? Davius' mother is a Medusa. She's in a cave. Not anymore. We killed that entire family. What do you have to say, dwarf? Why are you still talking about Davius? We, we, we whipped him to death, Castlevania style. Okay. So. Nice kills. 
I th what? Did I miss something? Was there like a frame of the tail that hit me or something weird? It's very strange. Like nothing was near me when that activated. Unless it like died and did the finishing blow on me. Oh, we're fighting monkeys now. Monkey and mole men. Them flying towards me with whips scares me every time, Chad. I'm like, please don't. I don't want them. Hmm. Right, let's switch to Werax. Werax, please. Thank you. So sadly, I think our weapons are starting to fall a little behind, so unless we really abuse the wear axe, their crit damage is actually low despite going all power build, which is crazy given how much we were pumping it. So sadly, I think we caught up to the, uh, we need actually solid weapons moment again. Well, we definitely want more power. We're not doing enough damage. Now a 91 HP. I see a lot of monkeys on vines, so we could climb down there. What happens if we go to the left here? There's a little cave. Go ahead and save. Yeah, more MP just means more healing for me. Okay. We're in kind of a weird cave. Oh! Axes can destroy those little roots. Interesting. I'm gonna be so excited when we don't need another Maddox ever again. I'd like to flood my inventory with keys. Well, this is a horrible room. Ew. What, what was the point of this room? What? You... You made me Maddox into a room with no items? But... But, but why, though? <laughs> there, I can't break that wall. It's not making the sound effect. Well, that was just a waste of a Maddox, and that was just super rude. Could have at least given me an item for that. Come on, game. Oh, I really don't want to have Surprise Sorcerer get out of my face. Nothing to do up there. Well, I'm glad I tested Axe in here. Else we would be super stuck. I still don't know why we need to go here. I just went in here. Could be I don't have what I need to clear the dungeon yet. The middle part of the... Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're fighting a... Crab? Crab battle chat. Okay. Ooh, our reach with this weapon is terrible. I think this is just another room where either Sickle is better or Whip, just for the pure range. I gotta hit it, like, in between the mandibles for it to count. So Whip will let me hit it more easily. I wasn't sure if it was just, like, the side of the body that I had to hit. Not like a difficult pattern, it's just... Finding the opportunities to strike it are a bit annoying. Also, I seem to be getting some weird input issues again. I really wonder if my controller is actually drifting. Where I'm, like, going left when I don't want to go left. Unfortunate. I'll have to check my controller out between streams. It's possible it is actually legitimately drifting. So I've had more than one controller drift on me. Do you see that boss hurt me after it died again? Rude. We defeated Metal Crab. Okay. Is there, is there a reason we just did this? I don't have a plot reason. I just came over here and murdered it. Rip Metal Crab, I guess. Well, so far this is going okay. I mean, I beat a boss randomly. We're not too far from leveling, so I could take advantage of that for healing purposes. 
Okay, so these are easy to kill. Nothing to do there. Did I, like, accidentally do the plot? Like, <laughs> I swear, I I thought we just went straight to the mountains, but I killed the Kraken, or not the Kraken, I killed the uh, crab for no reason. You are really just gonna stand there and block the staircase. What a jerk. I have to actually leave and come back. Can you not go to the staircase? Thank you. <sighs> of course. Game, please, I beg of you. Come on. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, that's really lame. I really wish I had soft on me to get out of this. That is so annoying, chat. If I could dam- if I could push- there we go. I was gonna say, if I could damage them, I would. So this let me go through here. Okay, floating rock area. But I didn't even get to see what was on the other side. I just kind of accidentally did things. So we're gonna go back at some point. So I beat a boss, so mission accomplished there, I guess. I'm not too far off from leveling, I think, with how much XP I'm getting. So I'm mostly just looking for a place to restock items. And then we might go backwards to see if there is an item I missed. Oh, goofy enemy there. Gonna defeat that troll thing. Okay, we did find an item shop. And another cure. I definitely want to get rid of stone, because that was annoying. I think at this point I get rid of pure. Nothing really seems to be poisoning me anymore. Um It's another Madoc. So I bunch bought a whole bunch of cures. So this seems like progress. Was there something I was supposed to do before I went here, though? That's the question. So maybe about five kills on the overworld will level me, maybe a little less. I wasn't seeing exactly how much I was getting per kill here. I would love to level up on these enemies, though, before I go back through there again. Hopefully this levels me. No, not quite yet. There we go. So it was five. So let's go through with more power. Got our MP back. Now we're back to one-shotting the moles. So now our damage is where it should be. So maybe we were under-leveled by one level. Maybe. But that leaves me very curious. These enemies need to go away. <laughs> Mummies are the worst, chat. Please go away. What was on the other side of the cave? Was that like another store? Was it like an NPC? Let's just go back and check. But before I go too much further, let's save here, and if it's a big bunch of nothing, we'll just come back to that room. <laughs> I like that they didn't expect me to go back through there, so they're like, you defeated Metal Crab. And I'm like, yes, that was a thing that did happen. Thank you, game. Go back to the wear axe. So the throwable axe doesn't chop these down. That really sucks. It loses its weapon property when thrown. Who would have thought, chat? The weapon gets worse at max willpower. Oh, our shield is blocking it now. Oh, it's just unlucky before, I guess. Or it just doesn't hit directly in front of you when thrown. Okay, that's fair. Hate this enemy so much. Let's get out of here. So, I went straight here, but what was over here? Because they were teasing, like, this vine earlier. Also, that is a million enemies on this vine. Please get out of here. Okay, all this was for house. What was here? The shop. That's all it was? Anyway, let's, uh... Let's just go back to where we were. That was not worth it. 
<laughs> right, chat? Like, nah. I mean, I'm assuming they wanted you to buy a lot of consumable spells to kill the monsters in here. Um, but how about no? We're gonna go with a... Mm, nice story. The Mega Crabs is in Parameter. Indeed. How did they hit me while dead? I feel like I'm getting cheated, chat. <laughs> I feel like shenanigans are happening. I should not have taken damage there. Speaking of which, how much do we need to level? Quite a bit. So the leveling has slowed down a bit, even though XP is going up. So I, I think we're now, again, the right level for this area. Okay, so we know there's a shop to the right. We're not going to go there. Where is plot progress? Fish surviving multiple whips, unfortunate. So I could I could axe my way over there. Or I could take the long way around. I'll take the long way around. Promising there's a little bit of grass there might mean there's like a house. I've been moogled. Welcome to the Moogle Life chat. Koopo Koopo chat. Nice healing spring. Just basically means I can't attack, so it's like, whatever. Okay, so mostly charged weapon does still one-shot. So our power is getting a little... It's not quite leveling as fast as they're getting tanky. But with willpower, it's keeping up. So that's not too bad, I guess. It's like, we're just gonna make sure to kill everything that we see. We don't end up under leveled. There we go. Hmm. Pick a path, chat. Did I pick the right one? Nope. <laughs> I, I want to see what's in the house. Unfortunate. Pick a path has been failed. Ooh, good level up actually. I'd, I'd like a little more power and just a just a smidge more defense. So we're now at triple digit health, 103. Our whip is one-shotting the moment, but still two-shotting the monkeys. Your weapon shop. What do you have for sale? Ooh, that's expensive. I mean, I'm gonna buy it, so I stop taking damage. Technically, I could skip the shield upgrades. It's probably the least useful upgrade in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this silver helmet to get some of my money back. Let's go ahead and see how much my defense increases. So I'm at 58. I went up 5 from the helmet. Shield is just a straight increase. And only 3 from the armor. Ooh, that was kinda not worth it to be honest. But I mean, taking 9 less damage in general is fine. Just don't think anything else accompanying it was worth it. So we're now semi-poor. I'm back down to 3k. I could still probably afford all minor items at this point. So I could get rid of the battle axe if I want to. I'll keep it for now. Willpower is full recharging. So I'm thinking in maybe five or six levels, it's going to be exactly where I want it to be for the end of the game. Anything after that is just kind of extra. So unfortunately, still no whip upgrades. I want to kill him so bad, but he's teasing me by being out of range. Threw a boulder at me. What a jerk. So presumably I can't just axe my way over here. Let's double check. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got excited for a moment. It's like, oh, shortcut. No, still gonna go the long way. Unfortunate. Yeah, I really don't feel like fighting those three things at the moment. 
Although I'm gonna save to see how much XP I need to level. Not a terrible amount more. Ooh, item from them would be useful, potentially. We haven't seen what they drop yet. Found Ruby, that's 750 gold. Given how expensive the other items were, I think I'll take that. Yeah, unfortunately, we in order to abuse Crystal, we need a boss where I'm not constantly spamming heal. So, did not really have a great opportunity to use the Crystal, sadly. My big opportunity was the Medusa, for sure. Oh, I got an X-Cure. That's perfect, actually. So, the Troll is actually kind of replenishing our items if we kill them. They seem 100% worth killing. Are we playing Batman today, as Promethea? Not quite. Hmm. So there's a cave down there I could go to, and everything else is a dead end. Okay. So we'll kill a couple of these just to get some XP. And then probably wherever this cave ends is where we're gonna stop for the day. Nice kill. I'd like to hopefully kill this troll. It's open for another healing item, but that's fine if we don't get it. Again, we cannot be super far off from leveling again, which will heal us. So I'm just kind of setting up for it. There we go. So a little extra power does not hurt. So we saved ourselves one heal item. We're at 109 health and 75 attack power. So we are basically going in one-shot city mode. Did you hit me while you were dead? That is so rude. <laughs> axe, please. <laughs> That's not fair, Chad. My axe passed through him already, and then he hit me. Like, that's how the animation works. It was already in the final part. That was rude. Oh, Axe, I wish I didn't have to use you. Hmm. Oh, are you like a Lost Wood scenario? So I could go up. Minotaur just throwing some axes at me. Hmm. Oh. Sounded like something I could break through. I wonder what this area is called. There's a couple areas in the game where I'm like... I guess we were in like Metal Crab Cavern earlier. Like, what is this place called? Don't throw axes at me, that's just rude. Alright, so I see what the puzzle is, but can we do that without accidentally destroying any of the chests? That's the real question. Uh... Did they really force me to push it downwards? It sucks. It's like an easy puzzle, but my axe is- okay. If I switch out of axe, I won't accidentally kill these. Let me switch to chain. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, what? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Final Fantasy Adventure, did you did you not line up the weight on that switch? Why did I have to move it down like that in order for that to work? How is that on the switch? I don't, I don't think I agree with that. Um, let's junk the pillow and let's get the cure. And I could just keep the cure for now. So we're up a heal item. We have a decent amount of healing. Unfortunately, as I said before, it does not really scale well with our levels. Okay, that put us up here. <sighs> it's gonna be one of these levels, huh? Hmm. Hmm, 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 chat. So if I pick any wrong path, I have to go back basically all the way to the start. That is kind of rude. Hmm. So 
I'm just thinking, should I start mapping where we need to go? Well, I mean, now at least I have some semblance of an idea. So what happens if we go through the door here? Is this door just bait? So now I'm questioning, I could just save scum it rather than map it. I should probably just save scum rather than map, honestly. It's kind of a waste of time. Oh, and it just... Oh. I don't think I have what I need to hurt this boss. Well, that was rude. <laughs> so, I think I need the... Uh, I need a very specific weapon to damage this boss. But I'm not sure where it would be, so I'm thinking, would it be in this dungeon? Or was there something else that I should have had by now? Hmm. Those are the questions I need to be asking myself. So I'm gonna guess... We have to take some arbitrary path. We're gonna go- let's go back to the room with the treasure chests. So, presumably we're going to get the Morning Star. Because I believe you need the Morning Star to hurt that boss from my recollection from playing this a long time ago. So if I have the Morning Star, I could beat that boss, but we need a key, which is rude that you have to use a key to find that out. But anyway, so we'll- oh. I didn't kill him one hit, that's so sad. So we're gonna go back to this room. We're gonna kill all of these. I got a healing item earlier, so that's fine. I did not mean to push that chest upwards. That is so annoying when I catch it by accident. Let's try that again. Try that again. I do not want to destroy any of the chests. Okay, you're done with. Push you here. Push you here. Kill you. I think there's something not quite right with that switch. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so we were here. So now I have to make a, a conscious decision. Did we go left or right here? I think we went left last time in that loop just back to the beginning. So let's make a safety save so I don't have to redo that. Okay, I don't remember seeing this last time. That's a good sign. We're now at a closed door. Just locked. So that's another place where I needed a key. How rude of the game. So we have th we have 12 keys down to 10 keys. Put me here. Hmm. Right. So hopefully we find what we need here. I would like to kill this guy before he hits me, because I need to swap to Axe. Get rid of this. So we're here. Welcome, Chrysogrim. Hope you're doing well. We're just trying to get to one more boss. And we're gonna pause for the night. We're seeing some of the crazy level design of Final Fantasy Adventure. I hope going down three times is, or four times or however many times are what we need. So now I'm here. I'm in Pick a Path World. Uh, let's save here. In case I need to reset. Okay, left last time put me back at the main room. Let's try going right. Okay, this is promising. If we get a weapon, then we're in business. No, we found a staircase. Hmm. Oh, okay. Are, 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 we, are we going to fight more than one boss? Do I not remember another boss here? I'm gonna do some safety heals. Now we're gonna make another save. Sorry for saving so often. Oh yeah, my controller is drifting. Stop that. No, stop that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to replace the controller between runs. <laughs> so that wasn't me, chat. That was that was the game that was the controller deciding I wanted to go to the right there. So there is something weird with this, unfortunately. So we will definitely pause after this. Oh. 
Hello there. Okay. I mean, I can just throw axes at you. Axe is the true long-range ultimate item. Now the question is, is he charging me just at set periods? Or... No, I guess he's just random. Oh, well then I'll just do this. So as long as I stay below him, I don't think there's much he could do. Or if he does nonsense like this, I just wait it out. Yeah, I think he's in checkmate with me at the moment, because Axe just beats him completely right now. I was gonna say, I played Streets of Rage, I know all about line up, lining up with the enemy. Okay, I don't think he'll hit me ever again, because I know what to do. Unless he does something new. Uh, easy boss fight. Come on, Axe, charge up a little more. So I think he's looking for me when he does that, but I'm like not there, so I don't think he knows what to do. Oh, Final Fantasy Adventure. You tried. Oh, he did hit me one more time. Fine, I'll do some safety heals. I love that boss is basically two-shotting us, though, even though I'm at max armor. Oh, I didn't need to heal. That's a shame. Defeated Cyclops. Am I gonna get the Morning Star? Yeah! There we go. No more Maddox. Oh, thank you. I could get rid of them from my dumb inventory. This is the room. So anyway, now I can actually hurt that other boss we saw before. Well, thank you for sticking around, Chris. Hopefully you have a good night. We're just gonna go beat this boss and we'll pause. <laughs> I just want to say we completed the dungeon. Oh, I can actually hit the little grumpy faces now. Interesting. Huh. I mean... Oh, you moogled me. No, <laughs> it did 71 damage. <laughs> what the... <laughs> okay, that took me by surprise. Listen, Chad, I was expecting to take a little bit of damage, but uh, more than three quarters of my health on a hit is uh, insane. Okay, so we're now back at the beginning of the dungeon. I would like to level once before the boss, so that way I don't need to waste healing. So we're gonna do some scream manipulations here. Okay. We're so close to leveling. Hopefully this will just kill. There we go. So let's hopefully not take three quarters of our health here by increasing our health total. So now at 115, not bad. And you drop ethers. Oh, that would have been useful to know earlier. Unfortunate. Well, we only have six MP, so <laughs> there's not much to recover with it. But now we should at least be able to fight the boss. Also, look at our will gauge at the bottom, how fast it's charging compared to the beginning of the game. So our overall damage is determined by how filled that bar is, and you can see it does not take very long to get there. Oh, right. We need to use one of our many keys. Uh, sure. Take one of my stack of two keys. So I think this is just another example where I just wait patiently and then punish. I can kind of hit him when he dives by me. So not a hard boss. But I feel like the punishment for messing up is probably my entire health bar. I guess it's fair. If it's an easy pattern, just learn. He only seems to dive downwards. I don't think he could dive sideways, so I might be able to abuse that. I could, for example, do this to hit him. Ooh, he could go diagonal, though. It seems like I can double hit him with that, which is kind of nice. Oh, he does, like, only 30 damage on contact? That is way more forgiving than the other boss. The other boss was doing 70. Or 65, I think. Oh, that boss was way easier. Received the Magic Book of Lightning. Learned lit. There we go, chat. We're lit. So, I feel like we can't be too, too far from the end of the game, sadly. We're, we're at least halfway through the game already at this point. So let's at least leave the dungeon. Oh my gosh, not the sorcerers. Anything but the sorcerers. They're the real monsters. Found Blizzard. Eh. But now I have a consistent way of dealing with rocks. Just way more annoying of a problem than you would ever think it is. 
let's go ahead and stop here. We're going to look at our inventory. I have a couple of emergency spells. I have something I can sell for money. We don't need Maddox anymore, I don't think. I'll keep one just in case, and now we just need keys. So I have one crystal for like an actual hard boss. Oh my bad, I have three crystals. I guess I could have used it on the golem boss, but honestly, the golem boss was so easy. Um, Yeah, we still got a couple of heals left, so that's not too bad. We also have a couple X ethers to heal ourselves. So I think for now, let's pause here. Let's talk about our thoughts and feelings on the game so far. So in terms of difficulty, I feel like the game is kind of mean for some of the levels. I feel like we're a little past the halfway point. We might even be closer technically to the three quarters point. Honestly, there's not that much more in terms of story. We still haven't reached to where we teleported before. Um, so, for example, when we get to the snowy place, I'm going to say that's roughly three quarters of the way through the game. So I think we're somewhere between 50% and three quarters already in one session. So it's not a very long game. I do like from the standpoint of, you know, when you walk around and you use the different weapons that it is fun to abuse the different ranges and some of the weapon specials. Unfortunately, magic is still kind of eh. Like, it does reduce how many healing items you need in your inventory, which is somewhat useful. But given that melee is your main damage source, it doesn't make a lot of sense to not just choose power almost every single time. Um, and sadly there, we just kind of got a bad set of weapons towards the last couple dungeons. But then we got Morningstar, which I do actually like. The 360 all around us strike is very useful. It's raw power, good enough, I think, to one-shot a lot of stuff near us since we've been going power build. So that should allow for some pretty easy clears, I think, for the next couple of dungeons at least. Uh, hopefully we'll get an upgrade for the whip. I don't remember if we do. I know we're going to be getting a couple sword upgrades between now and the end of the game. But yeah, we're uh, a I'm going to say somewhere between halfway and three quarters of the way through the game. Maybe two thirds might be an accurate statement. So we basically just need to go through and find Dark Lord. Then obviously something will interrupt us and we'll inevitably go back and try to do battle in front of the tree. It's where the game is kind of setting up. So there's not too much in terms of plot between us and the end of the game, but there's going to be several obstacles that will complicate our goal. But otherwise, uh, I think in terms of pacing expectations, we might clear it in one more session. Otherwise, it'll take two sessions, like the tail end of a second session. So we'll be jumping right in into the next mana game, which will be Secret of Mana after this. Uh, but from the standpoint of this game, I think for the most part, I do like the you know overworld killing and stuff like that. Let me put a little music on as we discuss some stuff. I do like like the overworld movement. I like the mini puzzles with the weapons. I like the switch based puzzles, like freezing enemies to weigh down switches or using treasure chests. Uh, to hold stuff down, or walking on switches in certain orders. I think it's a bit more involved than like your classic NES Legend of Zelda, but it reminds me a lot of that game in general. So it's just kind of like, what if Legend of Zelda but something other than Sword the whole time? So it's kind of interesting. I think it suffers from an issue of obviously way too many consumable items uh, that don't really stack that well. It definitely would have benefited from a quick swap. So being able to rotate through your Maddox versus your keys versus everything else would have been like a huge quality of life. And I think when they did some of the remakes for this game, they did account for that. Um, there are sometimes a very annoyingly high number of enemies you can't really damage since you need either apparently a specific weapon or just spells. So since we're going the power route to absolutely decimate bosses, uh, some enemies can prove to be a lot more annoying than others, in particular like that stone enemy where I couldn't damage him, I had no MP, and he ignored my shield to stunlock me. So that was kind of annoying. But fortunately, I think most of that will be gone by the end of the game. I think it's more the kind of the rough section before we get a very specific weapon uh, that we have to worry about those things. But for now, chat, I'm still having fun with it. Uh, I'm glad I pulled off glitches. I've never done them before. <laughs> I literally, I happened to have watched it several years ago kind of thing. 
and I didn't really understand how it was done, and we just BS'd our way through, and I clipped all the way to like three quarters of the game. And also I glitched defense. So definitely if I had, for example, glitched our defense helmet, that would have helped probably up to the Gaia Cave, or if I had glitched to the end of the game, that helmet would have been so good that it would have been like having endgame gear, more or less anyway. But oh well. We, we will showcase the glitches, we will not play through and beat the game with the glitches. So those are the only ones that I know. If there's more that you know of, please let me know. They're fun little things to experiment with. But I think from the standpoint of the playthrough, we're going to pause here for now. So hopefully you enjoyed what you saw so far, and if not, it'll be over in about a session anyway. So with that, I'm going to say thank you again for watching on either YouTube or on the VOD. And hopefully see you again in the next part.